Hello, hello, hello. It is time. We are here. Saturday night. Christmas. Saturday night's all right for asking the questions of kings. That's what we're here to do today. Of course, I'm not alone. Atlas the bookkeeper. What's up? You in the house. Come on. What's up? I'm so happy to be here. Yes. Return. Last week, we had so much fun. We're running it back tonight. And I have some huge news. All right. This is going to change your life. You know, Atlas, you've heard we couldn't find ep a few episodes, right? A few episodes. We couldn't find them. Lost well. to the annals. I was told. <laughs> well, what if I told you another has been found? Another has been recovered from the depths of the Internet. Say hello to episode tonight, number three. Likes. Be great if we could do better than Previously that. thought to oh, be I lost. Likes on every Shut up, Phil. Give me the favor. Thanks give so 20 much. likes. Get out of here. Previously thought to be lost. Episode three has been found by Frog Machine. And we're doing episode three tonight. Atlas, what's up? Come on. That's hype. I'm hype. I'm hype. <laughs> when I heard that we found it, I was, I was so excited that I got asked to come back for it. Yeah, so just for... Let's get... For the uh, for old time's sake, for the for, for the historian's sake, this is November twenty fifth, two thousand and ten. Now, I should write this down because it does come up a lot oddly, and I never do write it down. What was the exact date of the firing from Sikorsky? I can uh, I can find it here. Just let me search it again. I should have this as a command because it comes up so fucking much. Uh, but he was laid off in Sikorsky. Oh God, I can't find it. Someone tell me, please. Atlas, do you remember? It was, it's in oh, this year. Nah. <laughs> it's in. <laughs> Frog Machine, you're a legend. 30th of September. I'm making that a fucking command because that does come up a lot. Uh, but there we go. Frog Machine, the person who found this episode as well is Frog Machine. So basically, this is the Frog Machine episode. Uh, but they were fired on September 30th. We are just a few months after that here. So we are still in very much in the mode of let's see if this YouTube thing works out, right? We're not sure, but we're going to find out if it's going to work out. Um, so this is right in there. Um, I think that's pretty much all you need for preamble. Uh, so let's just get into it. What do you say, guys? So let's go. Um, this is episode number three of Ask the King. Let's go. The Lost Tape. Uh-huh. What's up, everyone? DSP here with a Thanksgiving edition of Ask the King. Oh, Thanksgiving. Hi. Um, we're going to do the usual where answer all of your questions which you posted on thekingofhate.com and also I'm going to answer a couple Twitter questions this week just to let everyone know this is going to be a shorter episode. Uh -oh. I'm going to try to fit all this into one video. I do have some stuff to do being that it is shorter really episode, 30 minutes. Uh, it's actually mm -hmm. the, thing, the afternoon and right after I do this I'm going to do a couple things, finish up and then head over to my parents' house for dinner. So. Oh, got it. Uh, oh, so still getting some din-dins from mommy at this point. That's good. Big ups. Always got to, I mean, it's nothing wrong with that for sure, but going over to mommy's for the Brushing of hair and the din din at this point. Big ups. Let's start off. <clears throat> the first question here is from iRoyal. Oh, there's a question. I'm sorry, iRoyal194. And his question is this When I hear you and John talk about the state of pro wrestling on your show, Smart Guys, <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, no. And plots and angles that have been going on. Oh, no. Along with the overwhelming amount of BS when it comes to match resolution. Oh, As a fan, what would you like to see pro wrestling do to improve its product to a point where these things are not an issue? Oh, shit. Try to be specific. Um, and then blah, blah, blah. Okay. Well, oh, no, blah, blah, blah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Some other nonsense. Let's get to it. All right, so now we get uh, wrestling promoter side Phil coming in. Very hype. Let's go. For me, I can't speak for John. You know, John... He's, he was a, a large fan of wrestling back in the Attitude Era of WWE. It didn't, this isn't Ask WWE John. Uh, no. What? I, for the most part, kind of took a vacation from wrestling during that time. But I came back during wrestling. <laughs> took a vacation? Now, okay. Uh, for me, the best thing about wrestling is seeing a really competitive match, seeing two guys put it all on the line, do some really athletic moves. <laughs> Uh, really athletic moves. <laughs> I mean, he's not pants. wrong. They are very athletic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nothing wrong with that, dude. Nothing wrong. Back and forth, unexpected near falls. I mean, those are the kind of matches that you like. Um, what I don't like are these matches where you get pulled along, you think it's going to be a decent match, then all of a sudden there's a clusterfuck ending, seven <laughs> people get involved, there's a oh. <laughs> a ref gets bumped, all kinds of bullshit. Um, what? In my opinion, if they that's just, just litter, the craziness that comes with wrestling. It, like, if you like wrestling, like that's the kind of stuff I thought you would like. He wants you to pretend it's more like to pretend it's closer to real than they do currently. I guess he wants them to really, you know, 
Nothing else, no interference, just two guys going out there and seeing who's the best. All right. <laughs> I mean, that's not, I mean, of course, that's what wrestling does, so, dude. Who are good at wrestling, Ooh. I think that wrestling would be doing a lot better than it is. The problem Ooh. is, there are other federations, such as Ring of Honor, who do that, and they're doing very well as independent third party companies. Now, they're not necessarily even trying to compete with WWE, okay. they know that their product is different. They don't have these large, elaborate storylines. They don't have... Oh, the man, what a good question to start with. Has. Yeah, it's a real banger. <laughs> I'm checking out already. <laughs> Who cares? The WWE needs to kind of go get back there. And so does uh-huh. TNA. I mean, TNA has a yeah, roster of wrestlers. AJ yep, Styles, TNA. Christopher Daniels, who's not even on TV anymore. What Ooh. are they doing? I mean, these oh. were outstanding people who, when the when the product was... Its outstanding core, people. At its core and at its beginning... It was outstanding wrestling. Now they're morphing it into more into these stupid, elaborate plot lines and things that, honestly, the average viewer doesn't care about. I mean, people oh. were bored of that in the 90s. Can't speak right? for John, but can speak for the average viewer. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what John thinks, but... And now, all of a sudden... All right. <laughs> Thank you for re-upping your membership. I appreciate that. Big ups, Kevin. <laughs> says, a grown man talking about pro wrestling unironically. Uh-huh. Well, some people get into it, but Philip takes it very seriously and is still not quite sure what's real and what's not real. Do That's for sure. That they did before... It Big ups, Kevin. Sense. And the problem is, you're hiring the same Oh, sweet. CT Condo them. card while we are in the CT Condo. Nice pull. Oh. Back then, <laughs> you're hiring them for your company now. Why is Eric Bischoff, why is Vince Russo, <laughs> Can we end this question? still in charge? They tanked. Eric a, a, a Bischoff. A million dollar company tanked because of them, and you hire them to work for your company? It makes no sense. Yes. So, for God. me, how would you improve it? I mean, the angles and plots? I don't, I don't care. How about this? You could have very simple angles and plots... Uh, or if you're going to have angles and plots, have them be funny. Like they used to be back in the 80s. <laughs> okay. Sh- have them be if you're going to have stories, be funny. funny. Come on, that's character. it. If you're going to make a product, uh, make it good. So, it's really on. that simple, guys. He's, he doesn't like the endings being all crazy, but he wants funny. So you want like DX, I guess, outside the ring, but inside the ring, it's like the series of shit, like the old days when there's no interference, there's no bell nonsense, no chair nonsense, old school. But he wants it to be funny. All right. Yeah, those two <laughs> things clash in my head because there's nothing yeah. like more funny than like the absurdity that is like ref bumps or just you know yeah. a bunch of people coming out of nowhere to to mess up the show. Like that is the absurdity that is funny. Yeah, I don't, I don't they know, get man. they get touched and they you know the referees get touched by something they go flying and they're like just dead for a while. You know, conveniently passed out. You know, until the resolution happens. But all right, I guess we want funny. Big ups, Kevin, with the Merry Christmas message. You're a legend, Kevin. Thank you. And enjoy the Accutane pool. Nice. He used to be, you know, the big major villain. He was funny as hell. No one took him super seriously. Wait, who was, was the major like, villain? Oh, I, I gotta hear. Be, you know, the and plots have them be funny, like they used to be back in the '80s. Remember when the Iron Sheik used to be, you know, the big Iron Sheik? Oh. Funny as hell. No one took him super seriously. He was always like, oh, you know. So, <laughs> Phil the Iron Sheik fan didn't didn't think that was gonna come out. <laughs> oh, I'll make you humble. Oh, come on, Hogan. I beg, fuck your ass and make you humble. <laughs> I'm glad you know said. the lore on this one. But... <laughs> oh, you don't know? You don't know the Iron Sheik? I know who he is. Okay, yeah, I yeah, couldn't yeah. can tell you one thing about him, though, other than, like, he's the Iron Sheik and he looked, you know, how he's, he looked. He's basically a lol cow now because he just says, like, he is does, he? like, cameo and stuff. He's not really, like, lol cow, lol cow, but he does cameo and stuff. He makes people say whatever he wants. He's still very uh, sour towards Vince because they fucked his career over. Oh, he's dead now, actually. Mm. Thank you, Lemtex. Oh, but before right. he was dead, I saw him on Howard Stern when he used to go on that show, and he would just be like, "Oh, Hulk Hogan ruined my career because uh, you know he fucked me, but he fucked me over, but you know he didn't let my storylines win or whatever." He just complained a lot, but he was like very insane. In America, you know, oh, he's kind of like DSP. He complained uh-huh. a lot, and everybody yeah. fucked him over. Okay, yeah, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. No one took him super seriously. He was always like, "Oh, in America, you know, I ran number one." And, uh, and everyone laughed because he had such a heavy accent. But then in the ring, there were uh, matches. And did people cool. laugh at Iron Sheik because he had a heavy accent, guys? I don't think that was the stick. But you tell me, everybody. Maybe that's why DSP thought was funny about him. He was just being an honest, like, heel. He hated everything America. You know, that's that was kind of the heel. But I don't think it was about the fucking accent, was it? <laughs> All right. Nah, ALT was a different time. You wouldn't know. You weren't there. You weren't born yet. But it was a different time. Uh-huh. I, I think that's something only a, a racist can kind of think, right? Oh, his <laughs> accent is why he's funny. <laughs> you know? God. He's always like, oh, in America, you know, I ran number one. 
and uh, and everyone laughed because he had such a heavy accent. But then, the- oh yeah, pe- so people were laughing just because of his heavy accent. All right, cool. Okay, cool. You say so. <laughs> Wrestling matches, and that's what people want to see. And by the way, that wasn't an act. That was his actual accent. You know, that was his accent. He was trying to speak English, and it wasn't his mother language. So, all right, cool, cool. So I think that if they would focus more on the talent and the actual in-ring product and less on this outside-of-the-ring bullshit, that these, these shows would be a lot better. Unfortunately, I guess I'm in the minority, at least when it comes to people in power, because the people in the wrestling world don't <laughs> seem to think that. Whatever. People in power. Let them continue to put out a, a crap. See how long they're gonna stay. Alright, could we be done anyway. with this? Thank you. Okay. Next yeah. yeah, see how long they last, Vince McMahon, but no uh-huh. crap. This one is from Green Knight 1138, and his question is this. Phil, one of the biggest problems with the video game industry isn't even related to the console. Oh, big ups, Redneck Preppy. Member bomb in the house. Go oh, with the five. <laughs> big ups. <laughs> we, get, we get to see Blanca Phil. I always appreciate that. Boy. Thank you. My friend, that is legendary. You got the green screen. That's a good pull, too. Not bad. That they're fighting in a console war. Nintendo fanboys are generally quiet. 360 fan- fanboys, also known as Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> Utterly Insane with the 69th pull tip. Big ups, Utterly Insane. Nice. Good luck. I brag about how well the 360 sells compared to the PS3. And the Sony fanboys brag about how powerful the PS3 is. And they call every game that come out on the Wii a casual This is a really uh, an era. The 360 mm-hmm. is just a red ring of death after two hours of game time, which obviously isn't true. <clears throat> With your experience uh. of playing and expressing your honest opinions about exclusives that have come out for all three systems, which group of fanboys have been the most irritating? <laughs> and the answer is this. Uh-oh. Uh, if you watch my videos go. and you watch some of my reviews, you know that I'm not an Xbox. I'm not a PS3 fanboy. I'm not a fanboy of any system. In fact, I believe they all mm-hmm. have their pros and cons. And uh, uh, fair take. More so okay. Than anyone else, I probably have propagated that opinion simply because I own all three major systems. Yeah. Um, okay. But what I have to say is Uh-oh. the people that annoy me the Uh-oh. most aren't necessarily the people that defend the system. It's the people who just don't want to listen to reason. There's no kind of actual logic oh. behind their argument. It's just an what? argument. For so the people who defend the system. Okay. So, for example, <laughs> so people who have opinions. Okay. Okay. I hate those people. <laughs> and comparing it to the Microsoft Connect, and in my conclusion, I finally said, you know what, guys? Don't buy either right now because there's no real system sellers besides maybe Dance Central, uh, but that's not worth spending $150. Worst take possible as board. usual. You should have seen the Yeah, it's not only on par for the guys. <laughs> But PlayStation fans responded, oh, the PS Move's the best thing ever, and you're just a fucking fanboy. I was like, how can you call me a fanboy when I just said that the Kinect sucks too? Like, it just, it makes no logical sense. And getting those right. kind of responses is like, where are these people coming from, and what the fuck are they on? Like, what are they smoking <laughs> oh, that they think that just... <laughs> what the fuck are they on? What are they smoking? Uh-huh, everyone's smoking. <laughs> it always cracks me up when DSP paints himself as the rational style guy. Yeah, like, yeah. That's such a weird place to put him what are you guys smoking okay like you got like on some weeds i mean come on guys i had three weeds in college so i totally know about that stuff you know just because someone says something negative about what they like means that they're a fanboy for the opposite side that's not the case in 99 percent of the cases you know i'm just being honest and if i think the connect is what we're buying honest honest side film does that make me a fanboy of either system absolutely not realist motherfucker on the internet that's what they say so that's the people that, that get me the most people who you know, just because you don't like what they like or what they're fighting for, you immediately become a, a, an enemy, a hideous person. Oh, you know what God. I mean? Hideous say, person. No logic behind their argument. Yo, he uses that to this day, though, okay, with his cult talk. Uh huh. Yep. It's like he learned it from them or something. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Subject zero. And his question oh, is question. I know that you, like myself and many others, are a big fan of the Mass Effect series of games. Yeah. As you know, Mass Effect 3 is set to come out. In- you don't have to do these, these like, looks at the camera like you're public speaking. You notice this? So annoying, you know? <laughs> yeah, he's doing a school report, <laughs> yeah. dude. He's got to look up. You know when they tell you to do that? Like, look up the camera every once in a while, and it's just, like, by obligation. Like, there's no feeling here. Watch. He continues to do that. Watch. Are a big fan of the Mass Effect series. Games. Ready? As look up. You know, <laughs> oh, no reason. Man. No are reason. Any changes that you'd like to see to this series? Transition from Mass Effect 1 to Mass Effect 2 was a very drastic shift. Oh, Jeez. very drastic. RPG I'll never unsee it. I hate you, Ailes. Yep. <laughs> it's there so it comes. awful. <laughs> there it goes. RPG Would you like to see it stay more like Mass Effect 2 or change entirely? Uh, change entirely. Characters from the first two games Who cares? Like to make a return or possibly Who cares? Who gives a shit? Any other changes you'd like to see? Horrible question. Thanks. Uh, well, I didn't even play these games. He's absolutely right. If you, 
<laughs> Don't give a shit about this question, so, thanks. We're off to a riveting start. Uh huh. We got wrestling. Wrestling. What fa What are you fanboy of? And actually, he doesn't hate any of those. He hates people that don't listen to reason. And now we get what's his take on Mass Effect bullshit. Well, uh, Who cares? Equipment that you would equip, and it would have different. Uh huh. Yo, equipment that you equip. Big uh -huh. ups. Okay, equipment you equip. <laughs> all, right, all right, cool, cool, cool. I'm in. I'm in. Uh -huh. Um. Uh. And so, you know, my the question: Would I have a change anything in Mass Effect Three? I'd say yes. What we really need. Or we need, we need more nudity and uh, oh. as many naked titties as possible. Oh. I would actually like to see all of the female races naked in this game. And basically, you could sleep with any of them. That would be pretty cool. Wow. Ironically <laughs> based, oh. though. That's what's up, I guess. God. <laughs> Man, think about the refrigerator to here. He says, I want all the races to be fuckable. <laughs> That's what his stake oh. is. <laughs> and uh, as many naked titties as possible. Naked titties. I would actually like to see all of the female races naked in this game. And basically, you could sleep with any of them. That okay. would be pretty cool. In fact, I think that would be pretty cool. Uh -huh. Complete 180 from today, though. Uh huh. <laughs> pretty cool, dude. All the races are fuckable. Because that's really what the core audience of this game wants hardcore nudity and sex. That's what we're about. That's what we want. Make it a <laughs> Okay, the next question. And this question is. No, that was his real answer? I thought. Okay. <laughs> there was no even payoff. Like, okay, I'm just kidding, of course. He didn't even say that. Yeah, that's what I was waiting for. Starcraft 2 multiplayer. Are you done with PC gaming? Yada, yada, yada. Yada, yada, yada. I've said it many, many times. Answer is thus. No one's heard the answer. No one listens. My all screwed up. I don't know what uh -oh. happened. I was using my laptop for a couple different things. For playing StarCraft 2. <laughs> Um, Where did he play StarCraft 2? <laughs> he definitely did. I've seen the footage of it somewhere, but I've never like, seen the whole playthrough. But yeah, he did back in the day, if you can believe it. For example, if I would rent a movie online on, on, on Amazon.com, or if I would watch an <laughs> internet stream, I would hook it up to my TV and my, my surround sound system, and I would watch yeah. it Hell on yeah. my system, on my, my TV. Well, all of a sudden, about a month ago, it just stopped working, and I have no idea what it was. It just it, The HDMI port seems to not work anymore. And I don't know if it's because I left the laptop on too long, I left it hooked up too long, but okay. I can't get the HDMI. But well, we know he doesn't turn anything off, so. No, he never turns it off, doesn't update anything. Uh, I, I, I meant to, Much work, to dude. get it fixed, but I've been so busy with uh, gaming and everything, I really have been busy. <laughs> so busy with gaming. <laughs> I've been so busy with gaming. I've had time to focus on it, and I, I am eyeballing, there is a, a computer repair shop near me, but right now I don't have any I'm money. I'm eyeballing a repair shop. Money, you know, I'm waiting to see if this whole out as a job yep, there you go and uh, until i get money I yo it's crazy how you can replace so much of what he said back then to now and it uh, just it'll just fit in yeah like i'm too busy with gaming yeah i'm eyeing this i don't have the money i like, want to see if this works out so i'm not sure about this current problems you know he has a current problem always so he's like i'm not sure if we're going to get past this problem you know it's always prepared, so. the cycle started so long ago like 2010 the cycle is already on. Unfortunately, it's crazy. A thing I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get past. I need your guys' support. Back in these days, of course, it's just like watching. At these days, he's very soft about what he asked for, too. But, it, you know, it, it evolved to what it is now, which is the, you know, peak level begging. I've been on hiatus, and I can't do anything with PC gaming until I figure that out. So, unfortunately for now, it's on hiatus until I can get that PC fixed. Uh-huh. Oh, sorry about that. Didn't happen. Oh, take a sip. Tell him the Stein. Wearing his own DSP shirt, DSP mouth, mouth, mouse pad behind him, and the DSP Stein is it being employed here? Full, ge we're fully geared up this here. Is a good question. Oh yeah, we're kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we got it, dude. This is got the drip going. For someone who you might know, Venomous Batman. He's done. Uh, <laughs> Shout out to oh, Venomous know, yeah. Batman. <laughs> oh, who doesn't know him? A whole video series. Big ups. Uh, relating to gaming, he also interviewed John Rambo recently. Oh. Venomous Fat Thanks. Man what? interviewed John Rambo? All right. Well, that deserves a search then. Uh, Venomous That's Fat Man. That's ALT. Write this down. Uh. <laughs> Venomous <laughs> Fat Man uh, and John Rambo. Did we get an Is it Fat somewhere? Man or Batman? Oh, I thought Fat Man, but uh, did did I mishear that? And I hate fucking John Rambo because when you search John Rambo, you get John Rambo Rambo with the movie Rambo. <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> Nothing is over. That Rambo. <laughs> I don't the question. Venomous Batman, he's done. I think Fat Man. Oh, it's Fat Man. Series. It's Fat Man, yeah. Uh, My bad, my bad. He also interviewed John Rambo recently. Okay, he has a His YouTube question is channel. This. Hey, Phil, here's something I really want to know. What do you think about people who break street dates on games? Uh oh. I know you've talked oh, about okay. Like Halo Reach, Call of Duty, Black Ops, Modern Warfare. Um, do you want to see. <laughs> It's not. The answer's yes. It's not. No, okay, the yeah, I know, yes. but. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the. Oh my god, I know who this is. 
I know who it is. <laughs> I know I'm this excited guy. that you know. <laughs> <laughs> I know this guy. This must be his previous channel. Because you know this guy, guys, don't you? He's the guy that... Okay, I'm not sure if his it's the guy. Channel, it's the guy. <laughs> it's the guy. I'm watching his Tory Wilson interview. All right, but watch this. J James Lugo. Thank you, Aura Master. It's James Lugo. So, all right, first let's watch this. This is from Miami Comic Con. We have Tory Wilson uh, in the house. So let's check out... Um, Venomous Fat Man, who's clearly not fat. Just a joke, I guess. The name. Very sarcastic, sir. Uh, let's get to his interview with Tori Wilson. What's going on, oh, guys? Oh, this audio. audio. Here from RealTalkingGamer.com. I'm sitting down next to the beautiful Tori Wilson. <laughs> WWE. Beautiful. How are you doing, man? Good, how are you? She is very scared for her life right now. <laughs> She's like, this dude's probably going to cut me up later, but all right. <laughs> <laughs> Polaroid photo op with former WWE diva. What how much this costs? Tell us a little bit about how you <laughs> Oh, wait, okay. 8 by 10 photos are $25 each, 3 for 60 Okay, so she's uh, she's 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 on the on the circuit, you know. Can't, get better than that. Can't blame her for that. Playboy magazine or oh, these are all autograph prices. Okay, so for the Playboy magazine signed, that's forty bucks. So. I guess if you know this person, I, I don't know who this lady is. <laughs> she's a former WWE diva. I, have, I can't hear what she's saying. It's too annoying. But let's... So this is... Obviously, we know who he is. But James Lugo, on the other hand, is still making videos to this day. And uh, he once did some things with DSP. Now, what did he do? It's tough for me to remember. But uh, he did do an interview, in fact, with DSP. Uh, so obviously, we're not going to watch the whole fucking thing now. But J Jake James Lugo... Yeah, I Lugo appreciate that. The is audio is <laughs> awful. <laughs> Jake James Lugo, though, is still making stuff. In fact, he's he's released a video 10 hours ago. Um, do you want to get a little taste of, of what he's done? Let's do... Yeah, for comparison's the... sake. Yeah, we need that. We have to have it. Uh, so... Cause this is awful. If it's still like this, <laughs> he should probably quit. Not that I'm one to tell somebody to quit, but... Yeah, I mean, follow your dreams. It's kind of cool he's still going, I guess. I mean, that's kind of impressive to keep continuing. This video was released nine months ago. We're, we're at 50... 57 views so v the views are coming in but he's keeping it going you know and that's kind of respectable if nothing else but here's the modern style james oh he does look modern style excuse me this is the modern venomous fat man okay so here we go hey there everyone my name is jake james lugo and welcome to the channel and welcome to this brand new jj's first 20. we're taking a look at the chainsaw demo for resident okay. evil okay i mean he's more professional than dsp by a, a million miles a million miles oh yeah, 100%. yeah you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like his mic is on point his, his speak is on, speech is on point. He's not going through 18,000 schedules. So I've been looking I was just about to say, I haven't heard a schedule yet. I'm already yeah. impressed. Downloading the demo on PlayStation 5. And he, we're starting right away. So say what you will, James Lugo, maybe not the best interviewer, but we're playing on. <laughs> he, and, uh, yeah. he cares about how his, the product he's putting out, you know, and that's something. That's cool said. that the radio the uh, comes. Okay, we're done. But big ups Pointing to... Pointing out the features of the <laughs> game, though. That's, that's more than DSP would probably do. Uh-huh, definitely. So he'd, he'd hate that feature. So let's hear, let's go back in time uh, 13 years ago to hear James Lugo's question, uh, Venomous Fat Man at the time. His question is this, hey Phil, here's something I really want to know. What do you think about people who break street dates on games? I know you- Fuck, did I, did I, I forgot if I qu checked, the, if I added this question or not. Talked about games like Halo Reach, Call of Duty, Black Ops, Modern Warfare 2. I don't think I did, so we'll do it. up on YouTube. But do you think that breaking street dates on any video game is wrong no matter what? Even if the person is not putting up videos or streams online. Well, yes. there's a couple exceptions. The exceptions Ooh. would obviously be if you're a reviewer or you're working for gaming media and they give you an advanced copy of the game, that's different. I mean, that's perfectly fine. Oh. oh. I think that any... Interesting. Now, he hasn't yeah, yet. Wow. He hasn't turned yet. He hasn't turned into, oh, he got ass on the shells. Yeah, <laughs> wow. Legal means of getting games is wrong. I'm sorry, but I, that's just my feeling. Um, okay. Okay. Oh you know, God! Like a, okay, well, our wow, first the... our first farming of the night. Uh, let's go to the uh, the 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 crusties of your eye farm here. It's wrong. I'm sorry, but okay, I... we're it's starting to you get a good here. one. It's weird you get a good one out of the eye like that. Uh huh. And so here we we're doing the digging now, and then we're gonna 
Let's check the fruits of our labor. Here, look at it now. Whenever we get a good look at it. Oh, yeah. That was a good pull. Look, we're still staring at it. <laughs> still. Hey, it's harvesting season. <laughs> Hell, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then we go down. Oh, look away. Right to the pan. With the wipe. <laughs> yeah. Yep. You see his arm go out a little bit? That's the wipe. Unlike a wipe. Uh, some of these things that, that, that couldn't even that, make eye contact uh, with the wipe though. He was ashamed yeah. of that. Yep. Movies. I think that games right now are on the up and up, and there's a lot games of, are on the up and up. A lot of effort into these, and uh, it's a new medium, and a lot of people, you know, it's they're, a new they're medium. robbing them. It's a gaming's a new medium in 2010, dudes. All right. If you wow. <laughs> what? Perfect example. How is it a new subscribe. medium in 2010? All right. I say, I've been playing games my whole life, and I was definitely born <laughs> before 2010. So. Yeah. 2010 gaming's a new medium. What? When Super Street Fighter 4 came out earlier this uh -oh. year, I uh. knew of certain people who have found a leak. Basically, the game had been either released as a review copy. Or uh -huh. someone actually found a copy of the game ahead of time. Yeah. They they uploaded it to the internet and people were downloading the game and playing the game weeks ahead of time. And they were like, oh, well, I'm going to buy the game when it comes <laughs> out anyway. So this is okay. This is acceptable. It's not. There, under no circumstances is, is Ooh, stealing like that not, allowed. Um, you know, and you're going to always have I, Okay. Who, <laughs> I mean, under no, if you're going to buy it anyway, I guess that's fine. But, you know, I was that's what I was yeah, going to say. I mean, is like, personally, anyway, I don't give a shit, man. Yeah. <laughs> I think I mean, obviously, it is wrong to steal people's hard work. But if it's out there and you're going to buy it yourself, then I don't see anything wrong with that. But all right. Exactly. Uh, exactly. You know, and you're always going to have people who are like, oh, well, it's because the games are so expensive and this and that. Super Street Fighter 4 was forty dollars, so fuck you. You lost that argument. It wasn't Jesus, forty dollars. So fuck you. you. It's not even sixty bucks. Fuck you. Purposely reduced the price of the game from a. Full Yispy's price always hated the poor's then, huh? Uh, yes, <laughs> hate the poor people. It's so annoying, dude. From the year before. So I hate poor no people. To do it. Ooh. <laughs> you know, and back in the day, and I can say about you know the nineties, the year two thousand, a lot of people were pirating with Napster and stuff like that. Yeah, Napster. Well, Big I'm ups. not going to go to the store and spend twenty. Showing your AJOT, watch out. Um, <laughs> I remember Napster. I was you know, there. You're always going to have people who are saying, oh, well, it's because the games are so expensive and this and that. Super Street Fighter 4 was $40, so fuck you. You yeah. lost the argument. It wasn't expensive. <laughs> Hell yeah, we got it again. The price of the game from a full price retail game because they knew that it was more of like an add-on and an update to Street Fighter 4 from the year before. Add-on. So there's no excuse to do it. Basically... You know, like back in the day, and I can say about, you know, the 90s, the year 2000, a lot of people were pirating with okay. Napster and I'm stuff Sorry like we got that. this twice. The argument was, well, I'm not going to go to the store and spend $25 on a CD when all I want is one song off of the CD, mm -hmm. and basically they're ripping me off. So that was the argument back then, and I could actually see that, because here's what was happening. Back then, oh, okay, the stealing was cool was then. Loaded, yeah, back then, back but... in the day, come on. <laughs> yeah, stealing was cool back in the day, but now, <laughs> come on, the come on. barely made any money off of CDs that were being purchased. What? And so, <clears throat> what? Funny, some artists were actually... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I didn't know we are going to get this. So artists were making so little from CDs, who cares, dude? I think he's about to say that, right? The industry was so bloated, that there... and I could actually see that, because here's what was happening. Back then, the music industry was so bloated that there were 25 middlemen who took all the money. The artists barely made any money off of CDs that were being purchased. What? And so, <clears throat> it was funny. Some artists were actually saying, no, not with my music. I don't even give a fuck because I barely get a cut because of all these middlemen. So what happened was everything got pirated. For I've heard the exact years. opposite. The yeah, that's never th I'm that's th this never been. No artist says, please pirate our stuff besides like as a joke, like System of a Down did. Like, please pirate I've, this album. That's like basically it. What is this take? I'm not. I'm not old style. But when I talk to old styles, yeah. they always tell me that that's why concerts are expensive now is because they don't sell CDs anymore to yeah. recoup the cost. So concerts are expensive, and the merch is more expensive to 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 make up for the lost money. That's what I've been told. Yeah, I mean that's pretty much it. You don't make any money on sales anymore, so you have to make money on your concerts. That's where people make their concerts. But absolutely, before. All these services came out, you know, I'm not services, you know, ways to steal shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, People services. People were very serious about not, you know, that was how they made a, most of their money was not from the fucking, was, was from people buying CDs. What is he talking about? They were so bloated that they didn't make any money anyway, so who cares? Who said that? The music industry, they all changed. Now what you have is digital distribution. You can get any song you want for a dollar. You can rent any movie you want over the internet for three dollars. 
and uh, it's really changed. A lot of the middlemen are gone, and the artists and the creators of these things are getting a lot more money. What? Um, and therefore, um... you know, I would say that the game medium right now is kind of the exception because they didn't really go through that transformative period, but I am a strong supporter of buying games and uh, and not being an asshole pirate. Okay. So, you know, Venomous Fat Man says, what do you feel about... <laughs> Thanks, you know, Venomous Fat Man. Day? Number one, anyone who pirates a game is, is I completely disagree with that, 100%. Number two, now if you're just talking about breaking street date, meaning, oh, <clears throat> okay. I went to Walmart and I fucking took a copy of Black Ops two weeks ahead of time, that's wrong too because you're stealing. Now, <laughs> obviously there are some stores that break street date and they just don't give a shit. Now, that would be, I said this. What are we doing here? Oh, hey, we're handpicking. Uh, um, or wiping something. Yeah. The decided to release the new Harry Potter movie a week early. They'd be in all kinds of trouble. There'd be fines up the ass. So the question is, you know, that out Harry Potter, right I guess, now, it, finds up the ass. Deal, but in the future, they may start to do that. Like, I put all Walmart my fines uh -huh. a, a week earlier than everyone else, and they're not supposed to. Maybe these game developers will say, "Well, fuck you, Walmart. We're just not going to give you our product." Yeah, so, hell yeah, so, hell yeah. What? Well, was... DSP on that one. <laughs> fuck you, Walmart. Yeah. Walmart. <laughs> it, it's in trouble. There'd be fines up the ass. So the question is, you know. Right now, it's not that big of a deal, but uh -huh. in the future, they may start to do that. If Walmart releases a game a week earlier than everyone else and they're not supposed to, maybe these game developers will say, well, fuck you, Walmart. We're just not going to give you our product anymore. Yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. Cool. So it's very possible. This fuck you, Walmart. In the future. I don't believe in breaking street day. I think it's wrong. I think that everyone should have a fair shake. One other thing that I really don't agree with. You could have said that. Unfortunately, did happen with Super Street Fighter 4. Oh, is God. The game it's never simple with the guy. No. Nope. Promotional copies of the games to the top tournament players. So yeah. I know for a fact that Justin Wong. B yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Justin Wong. He's been on, like, every episode so far, I think. We always get a Justin Wong reference, and here it is. Shout out, Sir Wong. <laughs> Of course, we're John Cope. So much Cope. I ain't for a fact know that Justin Wong got a copy. Yeah, you know? that's not fair. So, for example, <laughs> I know for a fact that Justin Wong had a copy of Super Street Fighter 4 before anyone else. Why? <laughs> Justin Wong was a national champion at the time. Why would you give him an unfair advantage by giving him a copy of the game ahead of time? Because they want to make sure he plays that game as soon as possible. That is fucking why. Because they, they, you know what? Capcom wants to make money. And they know him playing their game are going to get a lot of fucking people to watch that game. Your guess is as good as mine. It just doesn't seem to make sense. <laughs> no, it makes perfect sense. What are you talking about? The, one of the <laughs> biggest names associated with your franchise playing your game and hyping up your game before it comes out is genius level marketing as far as I'm concerned. It does like it doesn't make any more sense than that. It, what are you talking about? It cost them nothing, by the way. It cost them a single copy of a game. So who gives a shit to them? That know? he was going to buy anyway. <laughs> I like, know. Who? <laughs> Forty dollars advertising for them, and he, they probably paid him more for other shit down the line. Like they still, Capcom uses him for stuff to this day, by the way. And of course, he's getting those checks that Phil wish he could get. But <laughs> your guess is as good as mine. It just doesn't seem to make sense. Uh -huh. you doesn't make sense. You, if you're trying to doesn't make sense to me. Oh, is he gonna say? Is he gonna say they should give it to someone like me? I bet that's where we're gonna go. Oh, please, <laughs> please. Okay, here we go. Your guess is as good as mine. It just doesn't. <laughs> Sense. Here we go. You think that you, if you're trying to propagate that the common person is going to buy your game, you would probably not keep these people, these elite few who are on the top, what? on the top. I mean, it doesn't make sense. You still got a chance. So the first part is he doesn't want to think the top players should stay at the top for reasons. All right, I don't know what that even was about, but let's go. Um, just from a, a gamer's perspective, like, I was pissed when I found out that he was on GameTrailers.com, he was playing the game, he was doing... Yeah, hell yeah, GameTrailers.com, Justin Wong playing the game. You know how many millions of people probably watch that shit? No, he was showing people how to do combos and strategies, I'm like... Why does he know? And that's the guy you want to show how to do combos and strategies. Like, he's the, he, that's him. He's the guy. <laughs> Everybody won in that situation. <laughs> and let's let's not pretend like Justin Wong getting the game a month early. Oh God, that's just it's over. He's gonna dominate everyone now. It's yeah, so that's why he's winning. <laughs> oh yeah, exactly. He have the game. It doesn't make sense. He shouldn't have the game. He should have to wait like everyone else buy the game so we're all on an equal playing field. Cope. And 
That's just my opinion. I, but it was so we're on equal thing. playing field. <laughs> Cope. Lost at Evo anyway because he decided not to play the game and to practice for the uh, ultimate gamer, which he failed that miserably. But Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> so has to get that last uh, dig in. <laughs> so Imagine Justin... being such a salty bitch. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Justin Wong, of course, went on the game show that Phil didn't go on because, remember, you have to swing a baseball bat and drive cars, and he can't do that kind of stuff, guys. So Justin Wong did take a spot on that game show, and uh, Phil is still salty about it and says that uh, that's why he, he, Justin lost Evo because he was getting ready for that game show. But anyway, I digress. Um, anyway, I digress. Next question. Phil, I was wondering <clears throat> if you could start up the series The Suicide Kings again. It was funny as hell. That's from Dallas One Two Three BP. The answer is yes. Uh, in the future, if we can find games where you have that kind of an element, like it was with Red Dead Redemption, where you can kill yourself in funny ways and things like that, we probably oh. will do it. So, oh, okay. The suicide. It sounds like a, the Suicide King series. Okay, I'll search that real quick. Sounds like that. Suicide Kings DSP uh, gaming. Let's see if we get anything for that. It sounds like a. Uh, oh, DSP Suicide Kings highlights. This is put together. This is put together by DSP Highlights, which is a channel that uh, I do rec I don't recommend following. But uh, there's a channel that uh, put out highlights of DSP back when he had real fans. Uh, this was released 10 years ago. So here's some DSP Suicide Kings highlights. And we're at maximum watching one minute of this because it's not it's not funny. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, oh God. Oh. Almost cleared it. I almost cleared it. <laughs> yeah, I did love Red Dead multiplayer back in the day. Ah, fuck it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is funny for a, a minute at maximum. And look at these yeah, comments. This is... It's like you don't. This is not. It's not. It's not that funny for this long. <laughs> Like no, it's kind of something you would do like while you were playing and you're waiting on your friends. You're like, oh, I'll just kill myself for a yeah. few minutes and, and giggle. And then mm -hmm. like we can go do a mission or whatever you were going to go do. Like, yeah. That was it. It wasn't a 10 done? minute video. <laughs> oh, my God. Genuine DSP laughs, too, by the way. These are genuine, my friends. Like the most fun I've ever heard him have. Uh huh. This is his dream comedy. All right, let's see one more. Let's see if it changes yet. No, it does not. Nice transition. <laughs> We're still doing it. Holy shit, dude. He's losing it. Dude, that's it. the kind of... Yeah, that's the kind of laugh that makes you cry, and it's over this. Like... I know. Like, it takes a lot to get to that level of comedy. Like, when we today on the stream, we showed the meaty man... The meaty man contest from Scopely... That got that level of laugh because meaty man contest is very funny. This is not very funny. <laughs> You're hyping me up. I had to catch the VOD. I was live when you guys were on. And I oh, was like, yeah, damn yeah. it. If I would have known Steve was there, I would have canceled. It would have been over. That was our big, big reveal, dude. <laughs> All right, I'm done with this. I'm checking the comments. Uh, back when Phil had friends, now it's just him and the horse. Jesus, come on. Got him. When DSP has a genuine laugh, awake at 4 a.m. and I can't believe I'm rewatching this over and over again. Get help. Yeah, I forget that's what... sad. <laughs> this is the one time I will actually enjoy Phil's content. Get help. Down hmm. a weird rabbit hole, and this is the first DSP highlight video that doesn't seem to be from a detractor from eight years ago. Well, you're right about that. DSP during his prime days. Get help. I wish all the episodes <laughs> of the Suicide Kings were re-uploaded. Get help. Back Yo, when... he has them. <laughs> yeah. He's Back... got them on those goddamn hard drives. Uh-huh. Back when Phil was fun to watch. Get help. <laughs> Said no one ever. Yeah. He actually took, took those three parts down, which kind of sucks. They were really... Oh, he took them down himself. Interesting. His original playthrough is no longer on YouTube. Was this on Red... That was probably on DSP Red Dead Redemption, by the way. That's why. Yeah, that's my understanding. That's what, and he's got him on the hard drive, and he just talked about that the other day. Somebody was asking for that, and yeah. like Final Fantasy thirteen, and he oh, was okay. like, uh, "When I have time, because I'm not going to make any money off of it. So why would I? Why would I do that?" God, did I just enjoy a DSP video, dude? That, sad. <laughs> what? All right, let's see. Someone says Prime Act. I want to hear the Prime Act. <laughs> That was a prime act. <laughs> That's prime goat right there. Here's some nice goat content. All right, then we got to get away from this video. Ready? 
<laughs> My laugh doesn't sound like ack, ack, ack. It sounds like ho, 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 ho. <laughs> You tell me what that sounded like. Die Kings will probably ride again. Um, okay, I'm whatever. Sure what it's be, but don't worry. It's but did he say the Suicide Kings will ride again? The Suicide Kings will probably ride again. Um, oh, I'm not God. sure what oh. it's going to be, but don't worry. They will ride again, dude. Yeah. We'll look for other games to do that. Okay. <clears throat> GTA 4 swing site glitch was the uh, same. He could have yep. just did that. Yep. And I'm sure he loses fucking mind to that multiple times. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. <laughs> oh my god, I'm flying. Whoa. Mike Fox is a heard of a gaming engine called Mugen. That's spelled M U G E N. Mugen. Yeah. Yeah. Mugen. All right, guys, let's check out. What do you think about Mugen? Do you think Phil is going to like Mugen or not like Mugen, Atlas? You're calling this. Oh, um, uh, no. I think he's going to not like it. Okay, he's I think not it's too complicated like, for him. Chat, what do you think? Atlas is going with he does not like Moo Jen. <laughs> Let's see if he it's likes It's a PC Mugen. centric <laughs> style. <laughs> yeah. um, there's too many characters. It's too complicated. Oh, Why remember, is Goku there? Yeah, very much a Japanese <laughs> thing, too. So, of course, we don't like that. Let's see. Open source engine for a fighting game that's on PC. Um, and what uh -oh. it does is it takes sprites and coding from other fighting games and basically rips it and puts it together into a dream match. So, for example, you could have Street Fighter versus Mortal Kombat in this game. And okay. uh, to be completely honest, it's open source, so there's thousands of characters you can download for this. Oh, okay. It's really not a good fighting game. It's it's not uh, made to be. It's more of a, like hmm. I said, a dream match, a joke. So honestly, the it's whoa. meant to be a, a dream match, a joke. Okay, I don't think those are the two, two, two those are not two of the same things, but okay. Well, uh, when I discovered this, probably in like 2005, 2006, I want to say, it was really big at Evo, because what they were doing was they were having stations where people would set it up, and they'd actually bet big money. They'd be like, I bet that Omega Rugal is going to beat Mickey Mouse uh, for, for 50 bucks. And so then they would do a computer versus computer <laughs> okay. match, which is a simulated fight where the computer controls the characters. And you would see who wins. Salty it was bet. funny because they had just ridiculous characters. They had Omega Tom Hanks and a whale. <laughs> it was like, <laughs> shut up, shut up. That's a rare phrase. You had Omega Tom Hanks and a whale. <laughs> just ridiculous characters. They had Omega Tom Hanks <laughs> and a whale. It was like, who's going to win between Tom Hanks and a whale? And it was just absolutely retarded. So oh. it's a funny game oh. engine. It's worth checking out. Sorry. Uh, if you want to, be careful, though, because like I said, it's open source. People might put viruses and shit in the stuff you download for it. So be very careful. I, Salty very Bet is still virus. going to this day, is it not? It's like not, over I don't on Twitch, isn't it? I don't know anything about oh, it. Oh, but... me and my roommate used to, like, uh, we used to drink and watch Salty Bet, and, and, like, you would have to drink if your guy lost. Yeah, Salty Bet's still going to this day. Big up, oh, Salty big Bet. Big up, Salty Bet. Oh, shit, yeah. Someone on Twitch. That's literally is... all it is, is, is AI-controlled, you know, Mugen, and, and you just bet. They are 222 people watching this stream right now. I can't keep it on too long, but here, this is Salty Bet streaming as we speak. It looks like Krusty versus... I know you can't see it too well, but Krusty versus the fabled Thagelicorn. So there you go. <laughs> it's still going today. Background looks sweet. But all right, anyways, let's go. <laughs> not very reliable. It might crash your system, so be careful. There. And it's also not very, uh, it's not very reliable. It okay, might crash your system, reliable. so be careful uh -huh. there as well. Be careful. Um, be careful. So that's a no, right? That was right. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. I think you're right. All right. This question oh. is from, well, this is from Ab Abyssman47. Here's what he says. Hey, Phil, what I really noticed on the last episode Any of questions, Ask right? is that there were like 400 questions on the forums, and I bet there was at least 100 of them that were important, and what you are doing is just wasting your time answering <laughs> stupid <laughs> questions about dinosaurs. <laughs> that wasn't stupid. We learned his favorite dinosaur is the penisaur. Come on, that was an important question. It was very meaningful, if you ask me. <laughs> I remember the question. <laughs> I'm glad you did. I totally forgot. <laughs> yeah. I was like, what the hell did we talk about dinosaurs? He, he said, what was his favorite dinosaur? And he said, the penisaur. As, as soon as you gave the answer, I remember. Yes, Come on, yeah, that's yeah. a very memorable <laughs> answer. <laughs> yes. Even I posted an important question. And it oh, God. Answer. So this is get ready for berate. I mean, that's what he's going to do here. Well, yeah. Lapis Man 47, you pompous prick. Congratulations. Um, Fuck this Because guy. of this, uh, this comment, I've decided I will only answer important questions from now on. So now let me answer yours. Oops, you didn't ask one, dumbass. <laughs> 
You stupid hater. I'm gonna do what I want. And this series... You stupid hater. God. What is this so cringe? You stupid hater. You stupid hater. <laughs> what, dumbass? <laughs> you stupid hater. I'm gonna do what I want. And this series... Yeah. You know, answering serious questions about being funny and entertaining as well. So <laughs> well, oh, we gonna, is it? <laughs> when are we gonna start that? I'm gonna, you know, I, I'm can do whatever the hell I want. And yeah. Shit to you. If you don't like it, don't watch. Fucking idiot. Um, Whoa. All right. That got him. <laughs> God damn, he got. <laughs> Fucking hater. Uh, up next, this is from L. Uh, I'm sorry. Air I wasn't even a question, so I won't count that as a question. Actually. Air 23. He says, that was a comment I'm style. Wondering what your opinion on the Super Street Fighter 4 online ranking system? Uh -oh. Why did he even include it? Real talk. Because he has to berate somebody, so this is a good chance. It pisses me off. Uh, what For example, me off? I like to play with Honda, and I'm a B rank with 4,500 BP with him. Those are the battle points. Who cares? I get more points to play okay. better people. I play quite a bit, and no matter how much I win, I lose more points. I won five mm. matches in a row yesterday and got a total of 50 battle points, and then I oh lost God. to Scrub Turtle Saget, and I ma <laughs> who mashed. <laughs> Sounds like Phil. I, was I, was just about to say, I understand is. why he's a DSP fan. Uh -huh. <laughs> he loves it. He, I feel the same thing as you, Phil. I go through the same shit. It pisses me off so much that I have to keep playing these scrubs and I can't play good people. Okay. Is there any advice you could give me? And what is your opinion on the leveling system? Well, well, I agree with you 100%. It does that. I said it once. I'll say it again. The online system for Street Fighter 4 sucks dick. Yeah. Everyone knows Hell it. Yeah. You were right on. Wow. The problem is that the game was developed to be worked in Japan only. Where in Japan they have a what? The game was created to be good in Japan only. I think that's what he just said. That yeah. <laughs> Holy shit! Chris Dorner respect for showing up here too. You're a legend, man. Thank you, Chris Dorner respect for in the ten. house. You're a legend, dude. Thanks so much, and good luck in your pool. I hope this is a fucking Hogan. Come on, give us the Hogan. He's earned it. Yo, not I bad. would love it, Hogan on not my. All right, not bad. Yeah, that bad. is some iconic art, though. Yep. I can't tell you how many times I've seen that piece. I hate skeletons. Piece, not bad. That should, that goes right on the mantle, my friend. Chris Dorner, respecter. Thanks, my friend. You're a legend. Dick. Wait, hold on. Let's see, let's hear this talk about Japan system again. Everyone knows it has way too much lag. Uh -huh. uh, the problem is that the game was developed to be worked in Japan only. The game was the game was developed to work in Japan only. Okay, that's what he. That just was a said. conscious decision. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they they said, you know what? Everybody else, fuck them. Japan only style. That's the game we're making. In in the in the in the war room, you know, like in the business war room. All right, guys, we're gonna make this game work good only in Japan. You got that? Fuck Americans. Come. Come on, who needs them? Even though they're our biggest market by far, fuck them. <laughs> Where in Japan they have a much better internet infrastructure than they Not have true. in the U.S. It's a much smaller area, much shorter distance where the information has to travel. Okay. So in Japan the game works perfectly and basically has no lag. Uh -huh. In the U.S. it's a horrible failure and it just doesn't work properly 99% of the time. Mm -hmm. um, the ranking system is flawed. It assumes <laughs> that you're going to be able to find people who are better than you but have a good connection, which most of the time... If you get good enough to get, say, 4,500 battle points, doesn't happen. You end up playing people across the country in Japan with laggy connections, and it's a horrible experience. So, unfortunately, Air Bear, uh -oh. all I can tell you is stop playing. Once you get to the point where you're good enough, oh, stop man. playing. I wish somebody... Point, Yo, somebody did give him that advice on Street Fighter Six, though. Uh, uh, what's that guy's name? Diaphone? Uh no, no, no. The other one that he just banned the other day, that dent that tipped him to apologize. I can't oh, ban. um, uh... Sambuca? I just seen it. Sambuca? Yeah, Sambuca. Yeah. <laughs> Literally told him, quit playing, play something else. Yeah. And he got shit all over for it. <laughs> DSP, the biggest <laughs> king of hypocrites. Uh -huh. Facts. Start traveling and playing people in person. Stop playing online. Yeah. <laughs> Diaphragm. <laughs> Diaphragm. Uh -huh. Because the online experience is just not good enough. All right, so quit playing is the advice you're, he's been given. Yeah, that's Stop great. Stop playing. Thanks. Thanks, Phil. Okay, this one's from LTD73. LTD. Says, no, the guys... Uh, gee. Games, <laughs> nope. that you're DSP or that you're or think that you're just a guy who buys a lot of games. Do, oh, okay, so this is kind of interesting. Do the guys at GameStop know your DSP? <laughs> That's funny. They know who you are. They realize they're dealing with royalty. I mean, what do they know? Let's I, I think he's gonna say like I bet my guess for this is yeah, they know who I am. They understand why I'm in there all oh. the time. A hundred percent. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna self suck for sure. <laughs> he probably told them that. All right, guys, just want you to know I'm a let's player. You know, I bet he's gonna say that. <laughs> to that question what? is actually. Go ahead. 
You know, when he's asking for the ultimate edition of whatever game he's buying and, you know, they're grabbing it from behind the counter. He's like, yeah, I'm a I'm a famous YouTuber. You might have heard of me. Um, yeah. You know, yeah. <laughs> Just saying I'm going to be back for all new releases. OK, so if you can get him ready for me, thanks. <laughs> One person at my local GameStop knows me from back in the day, from the Street Fighter days when I used to go to Evo. And he, he knows that I was, you know, the, the, that year when I got fourth uh, place uh, Evo uh. for Super Turbo. And uh. I was basically the highest ranked Super Turbo player that year. He knows about uh, what? No. I was the highest ranked Super Turbo player that year. No, you were fourth. You weren't. Yeah, you didn't even say <laughs> yeah. the American part. You didn't. He just yeah. left out. He left out the American part. You can't do that. <laughs> That's important. Days when I used to go to Evo, and he he knows that I was, you know, the, the, that year when I got fourth place at Evo for Super Turbo, and I was basically the highest ranked Super Turbo player that year. Ah. He knows about all the, the basically <laughs> is the qualifier <laughs> there. You know, you get the one through like seven slot when you use the word basically, you know? Uh -huh. Basically. Ah, okay. So basically you were the highest ranked. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I won Evo East and stuff like that. Yeah. If you go to the Super along. Bowl and lose, you basically won the Super Bowl, you're you know? Basically like you're basically You're basically. <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean, basically made the playoffs. I mean, we did. But basically, did during that time period, so he knows who I am, but he doesn't necessarily know about my YouTube presence. Ah. Now, there are other people who recognize me from going there so much, but they're more they just think, Oh, this is a cool guy who comes by and buys a lot of games. So. <laughs> they didn't cool say guy. that, they never said that. <laughs> oh, hello, hello, cool guy. You're here to buy games again? <laughs> oh, look, he's he's looking at the quarter demon here. Oh, shit, quarter demon's coming. Oh, he's terrified. <laughs> <laughs> oh, excuse me, sir, cool guy. Uh, you're here to buy some more of our games? Welcome. <laughs> he's getting he's giving him that no, face no, really that. You know, I'm sure if someone said something that would be the end of it but I've never mentioned anything so I'm sure if someone said something that would be the end of it what does he think he's gonna get mobbed oh yeah that store will not handle it if it gets out I mean I am a, a very important person okay so hey you saw the magfest panel you know wall to wall if it was at the GameStop too <laughs> let's keep this under wraps guys I'm kind of a big deal Okay. All right, I've got two Twitter questions I chose for today. And then hey, two Twitter. Like I said, I am in a little bit of a hurry today. I apologize. Shout out Twitter. This one is from PC Hefner, and his question PC is: Hefner. If you could only use one Street Fighter character for the rest of your life, which character would you choose to play with, and why? That's a no-brainer. Blanca. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We didn't hear the answer. You say Blanca. I think. Uh, yeah. All right. All right, chat. What do you think? We have time. You guys can say your answer. Everyone's saying Blanca. I think that's the smart choice, but I'll go for a... If you know it, don't answer, by the way. I'll say, as the backup, as a backup, he might, might say Vega. I would oh, say Vega's a safe choice. Cause I'll say Vega, because he did use that for fourth place. It might be some kind of... I think you're right with Blanca, though, but... <laughs> Chun-Li... <laughs> I think I think the answer is probably Blanca though. But Chun Li's an option. We got some we have some we have some guesses. Let's see what happens. Here we go. The answer is Ryu. And the reason I say that Oh Ryu, get fucked. What? <laughs> yeah, fuck me, I guess. I'm dented. Ryu. I didn't know nothing, I guess. <laughs> Ryu in the house. Choose to play with and why? That's a no-brainer. My answer is Ryu. Okay. The reason I say that is because in every game he's always a well-rounded character. He's never been low tier. He's always, ah. he's, he's always Weston he's Evans has a point. Man. He's the Ryu to tease Kane. Come uh -huh, on. Uh -huh. How did I forget this deep lore? And he also said the Density Scrolls. Uh, he said on AOL News Groups, I've, he's always been my Ken, and I've always been the venerable Ryu. <laughs> and he mm. said that. <laughs> Ryu's never had a match where he's so outmatched that he gets dominated entirely. There's always a chance that Ryu can win. Uh -huh. I think the character was designed that way from the get-go in Street Fighter 2, and they've kind of kept him along that vein. In fact, it's funny because... Oh, it's funny. These, these Ooh, yes! And you, and you First watch one. Like Daigo play, oh, Daigo! He might not necessarily be the best character in the game, yet Daigo seems to consistently beat everyone with Ryu. Not funny. Nah, no, not funny, no. And that solid gameplay, he'll always have a reversal dragon punch that's going to be amazing, so I would have to go with Ryu. And he's also, he's not changed that much over the years he's probably the, the least changed character uh -huh. so he's always going to have the same basics that will, will be consistent in any game okay take a sip please choo 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 final question final question comes from crazy oh, better Jack. be good his answer is or his answer his question is <laughs> DSP, uh, excuse me DSP, <laughs> you okay you're doing a dsp uh, classic sort of mode where you complain about terrible old games like the avgm who's the angry video game Complain about old games like the AVGN. Uh-oh. I think he's going to be offended it... by this, actually. 
Go ahead. I was gonna say, isn't that like his his whole channel's I- idea anyway in it? So like, I mean, yeah, it's... he kind of already did that, but it's not classics. It's no. modern. He's never done the retro thing yet. I don't think at this point. So let's see what he says. Well, it's funny. Oh That's God, funny. second one. Oh. Here we go. Take a little bit of time to answer it while we wrap up here. Please um, just answer the question normally. I actually started on YouTube, which was now over two years ago. A lot of people were leaving hateful comments saying, "Oh, you're, you're just trying to rip off the angry video game out. marriage." To which I said, "What the fuck are you talking about? I'm not reviewing games. I'm doing live playthroughs of modern games, and I'm giving my honest opinions of them. Some games I actually like." How could you say I'm like the angry video gamer? He only plays old classic style games. <laughs> old classic style classic games? Style. <laughs> he rants and raves on them. He he rants and raves on them. That's something you do. He doesn't actually do playthroughs. What he does are reviews. Okay, look at our finger. Look at our fucking finger um, counting here. So we start on a random finger, and then the following ones also go on random How fingers. How could you say I'm like the angry video Ready? gamer? He only plays old okay, classic first, style games. Okay, first, that's the first games. pointer. He He's in, he's in order here. Middle. He okay, never mind. He's to be. Oh, we're still in third. Uh, okay, my bad. He went in order. He went in order. All right. Got <laughs> oh, some <laughs> gross looking fingers though. I'm not. And he looked at it. <laughs> yeah, he found something on one of them though. Watch. He he he, he noticed something. His production value is a lot different than mine. Much higher production value, but it's not a live series. I mean, I just could not understand the comparison. It would have pretty much been looked again, was, too. Uh, there must really be something on there. AVGN was so popular a couple of years ago. Anyone who did anything with video games on the internet was immediately called an AVGN ripoff. That's true. I think that there was some truth to that. Every reviewer got saying, like, you're just trying to be the AVGN for sure. I think over the past few years... Too old for me, sorry. Damn. I don't even want to ask Cole Jordan. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. ...that comparison anymore, which is good. Um, I think that what I do is a lot different than what he does or what a lot of other people do with uh-huh. game videos as well. Um, would I ever consider playing classic games? Well, let me tell you, there are absolutely, there's a couple of games that I have in my head that... Uh, Earthbound coming in hot here? Chrono Trigger? What will we hear here? Uh, that I I'm hoping Chrono. That infuriated me. Um, <laughs> if you can believe it, I know this one has been said a million times, but E.T., I actually had E.T. Oh, oh God. God. It's such... Cringe choice. E- Basic I actually ass. Had, I yeah. actually had ET, so <laughs> it's like the stupidest choice. That game was a stinking, steaming pile of fucking donkey oh, shit. Oh, great! And I still awesome. remember getting it and sitting there trying to figure out what the fuck I was supposed to be doing the day that, that I bought it. Even reading these. You were about to lie and say the day it came out, but then you decided against that lie, asshole. Yeah, the day that I <laughs> bought it instead. Yeah. yeah. The day I came out. Wait, the day I bought it. How? Hold on a second. When did that game come out? Because he was very young when that came out, in my opinion. Yeah, 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 yeah. He uh, had to be. That game came out, uh, ET, 1982. So the year he was born, the game came out. So when exactly is he picking up that for the Atari? I mean, mm, we'll see. I, I, I'm very X on this, on this whole story, you know? I think maybe he's seen the game on YouTube and then decided to make the story up is more probable, but who knows? Instructions, you still had no clue. Like, what is the goal of this I game? I think the only thing he knows about this game is, like, from an AVGN video, probably, you know? I was just about to say, <laughs> from the AVGN video. <laughs> yeah, that's where he got all this information. What am I trying to do? Horrendous. And there are a couple other games, too, as the years moved on, um, that I really did not enjoy on the NES and <laughs> bite, bite, like bite. that, but... Would I ever consider going back and doing Didn't name another like one, that? though. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it would probably... Be- Man, there's so many fucking bad games for the NES. I mean, they were crazy. They drove me crazy. You know. You know those games. Yeah. You know all of those games. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's... They to suck. me, that sticks out like a sore thumb. If you're really thinking about other shit, you could name at least one other, right? <laughs> and when I talk about, like, oh, I'm thinking about doing this, I could name the things. At least one. Dude, he, when he wants to talk about, so he'll he'll start lists without having items. Like he's so free with that. Like this would be a real legitimate time to have a list, but he doesn't have one. He just says like, "Yeah, there's a lot of games, dude. Piss me the fuck off." Okay, this is a time we need a list. Cool. Um, but then you risk the you do you take the risk of people saying that you're copying, say the AVGN, because that's all he's ever done. Okay. Um, I thought you didn't care. You do what you want. Yeah. Rather than AVGN, as you can see now, he's really starting to reach because he's been doing it for, what, almost four years? Actually, he's probably been doing it longer (laughs) than four years. And 
Jason. He's starting to reach after four years. DSP's been doing this shit for 15 years now, but it's meaningful curated style. Okay. AVGN can still drop a video in AVGN character and get 100K views in a day. But all right. Yeah. I mean, I'll be real. It did kind of, it is kind of ran its course, but it took many more years than these four years he's claiming. He's running out of and he still has incredible fan base. He can do whatever the fuck he wants on YouTube. And uh, he doesn't do anything. He doesn't edit anymore. Well, he claims he does. But that's a whole different story. But AVGN is miles, miles ahead of the DSP in every fucking way. And he's saying that uh, AVGN is losing steam here. So that's just funny. He's been doing it for, what, almost four years? Actually, he's probably been doing it longer than four years. And he's running out of content. You can tell now the games he's playing. <laughs> <laughs> he's running out of content. He's playing as a kid. It's just games that people are telling him are really bad games, so he's trying them out. And uh, so for him, if okay. he's trying to lose some of the the, 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 magic. the, the ingenuity and the, 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 the truthfulness to what he's doing. It seems more like he's doing... The AVGN, by the way, thanks to Silent Weapon, just pointed out, AVGN just dropped a Final Fantasy VI video as the Angry Video Game Nerd 21 hours ago. Half a million views in 21 ah, hours. Damn. Uh, I don't think he's out of content yet. Right? I don't think he's out of content yet. 13 years later. Doing it just for the money, which probably is true. He's even said, you know. 3.79 million subscribers, by the way. <laughs> he'd love to do other projects, and he does do other projects, but it's always the AVGN episodes that, that are the most popular for him, which kind of sucks because I can understand getting stuck doing one thing you don't like. Thank God, for me, the thing that people like the most are the playthroughs, and I like doing the playthroughs. So, what? Um, okay. Yeah, I don't let him go. Yes, <laughs> I don't even know. What else do you have? The the thing people like the most are my playthroughs. Oh, they don't like ask the they don't like the cooking with the king as much as your playthroughs. So who would have guessed that? Longer have my Atari twenty. Yeah, the thing that they the thing at work that they like that I do is my job. It's kind of crazy like that. I don't uh -huh. know, man. It's uh, convenient. Uh, that how that is. Seventy eight hundred actually. I don't have. It. I got rid of it a while ago. And uh, okay, but who knows? Uh, I mean, anything is possible because. If this works out, which, by the way, within the next day or two, actually, the latest I'll absolutely know is by Monday. What? Monday's the deadline. I basically. thought it was the I next day or two. Now it's care. Monday. <laughs> next day or two. Now it's Monday. Anything by Monday, that's bad. That means that something's gone wrong. And what? I About will, what? I probably will not be able to do this as a full-time job. But I'm going to let everyone know as soon as I find out. Hold on, hold on. However, uh, I'm still up in the air right yeah, now. Yeah, I'm confused. I'm going to have a really uh, tense, suspenseful weekend for me. But... Tense, suspenseful weekend for me. If this works out and I can do this as a full-time job, the sky's the limit. Maybe I'll go buy another Atari or, you know, and I'll try to get another copy of it. So he's already, filed, he's already fired at this point, everybody. Remember, think, uh, we know those two months before he was fired. Uh, but I'm not sure what he's talking about this deadline. Could it be the unemployment decision? It could be. Uh, it could be if he could join Machinima. I'm not sure about that. But I wonder what he's waiting for so concretely about Monday. I don't, I don't know about that yet. And I could play it, and we'll see. We'll see how shitty it is today compared to how bad it was back then. And I mean, back then, I thought the game looked horrible, and that was when all games were pixely. Imagine how bad I'm gonna think it looks now. So we'll see what happens. Um, <laughs> so dumb. So that's you did, if you're playing on Atari ET, you're not complaining about the the visuals. You just aren't. That's not what people did in 1980 fucking two. Oh man, these these graphics suck, dude. Where's the ray tracing? No one's thinking about this. <laughs> It's this ridiculous thought, you know? When Nintendo Yo, came out, it's not 60 yeah. <laughs> FPS ALT. Come on, the game's trash. Just a ridiculous fucking thought. Oh, this game looks horrible, dude. You don't. That's not what anyone's mind. This is what it looks like, and you're happy it looks like that. That sounds really old. <laughs> that makes me sound really old. Yeah, yeah. Hey, ALT, come on, man. <laughs> games look like what they look like, and we were happy they looked that way. <laughs> All right, that's, that's it. In conclusion. Uh, I do want to say this. Four minutes. Okay. In conclusion, we still have four minutes left. So I don't know what Jesus. the fuck is going on here. <laughs> God <laughs> damn it. A lot of international fans who don't celebrate Thanksgiving, but. Oh, God. You know, Thanksgiving talk. This, there's really a time to reflect on things and how they've been going. And, uh, and, and it's a time to be thankful. There's a lot of things, regardless oh, of the negativity that's happened. I've never I'm seen him be thankful. Losing my job. <laughs> Uh, haters ruining things like eBay auctions oh. and stuff. Like oh, shout-outs to East Coast Customs. Uh, that is the haters uh, wrongfully uh, bidding and uh, not le allowing Phil to sell those on eBay. So shout-outs to those proto-detractors back then. Like that. People coming from my past to basically insult the shit out of me, which I really didn't expect. Or Ooh, who could it be talking about there? 
uh, I believe it's to the uh, Mike Watson saying DSP's a piece of shit. I believe that was well past this, isn't it? Uh, I'll check that now. You're the dates guy, man. Yeah. I I'm just here. <laughs> this video came out. Oh, no, no. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Uh, November 5th. It's between November 5th and November 7th that this legendary thing happened. Uh, might as well play it. It's just always fun. So that would be only uh, in the same month as this video was made. So I'm pretty sure he's talking about this, isn't he? John, um, in 2005, I think it was, the three of you were absent from ST Top uh, 8. This is always worth watching. What you know this, right, Atlas? Oh, absolutely. Okay, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Just watch out. If you, if you talk about Jaha you can too much, you might show like, up. He's like that, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I think it was a combination of... I think it was... Look, I, look how much they're all cracking up already. Like, this is my low-key the best part. They just all start cracking up because like, oh, yeah, you remember that bullshit? And they're like losing it. Watch. Uh, eight. <laughs> what happened that year? Watch. <laughs> you can defer that question if you'd like. I think it was a combination of... I They're talking about the console, yeah. I think it was the first console ST that we played on for a while. And we just kind of took it lightly, thinking that it's pretty much the same as Arcade. So I really didn't get that version, go out of the way to get it and practice on it. And when we actually got there, it was... I mean, it, was, it wasn't that different, but the minor differences were enough to throw us off. And yeah, I lost really fast, and then so did everybody It was probably else. on Turbo 3 or something, you know? So yeah, mm -hmm. it was just a little bit different than what we're used to, so... But after that, I kind of learned my lesson to always get the version that they're going to play on. Because you can't just assume that everything's going to be exactly as, as you remember. So, uh, totally uh, How about response. you, Mike? Uh -huh. John, John Choi, of course, the most measured of the, of the three, I think. And let's hear some more uh, bombastic responses. What happened next. that year for you? Is that the year PlayStation 1 was involved? Can we be <laughs> real specific? Or do you not know... I, I don't. I, there was a problem. I think it was the PlayStation version. Because when you play Bison and you hit a fierce flame and it only goes like 20% of the screen, you got a problem with the game. And you got some, that's the answer I was looking for. You got some idiot named DSP who's a total piece of shit, by the way. I like to I like to get that on YouTube. But <laughs> the fact that he wanted to get that on YouTube, that's the best. He knew. But this guy thought he was hot shit because he beat me and Choi in a game that was like. It's like fucking Neo Geo conversion of Street Fighter or some crap, dude. <laughs> and, he, and he was so proud that he put under as a signature, he's the number one U.S. ranked Super Turbo player that year. <laughs> but, I mean, Range. look at him now. I mean, he's just... No, you got 20, on YouTube. I always think this sounds like Gundam. I know it's not, but it kind of like it could be Gundam. It does of. sound like Gundam. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> In my yeah, head cannon. Gundam's probably like, what? I don't know, five years old at this point, but <laughs> this could be him. <laughs> but I mean, look at him now. I mean, he's just... No, you got 20,000 subscribers on YouTube. 20,000 20, <laughs> idiots are subscribed to him. That's great. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations with your YouTube channel. Gundam, and, get uh, wrecked. <laughs> you can go back your life, to bed. Like, I mean, it's a, it's a great victory. PlayStation 1 Super Turbo Champion. So this is, this is the great uh, showing, because now in the Density Scrolls, we've seen the forum posts from around these times, and we see how everyone had the same opinion and how it was a different take, and not everyone was into this. Uh, but you can see how Mike Watson, a, a you know, before DSP was famous on YouTube, before DSP was even sure he could make money on, on YouTube, you see the thoughts. There's no jealousy involved at all. It's not about jealousy of his YouTube career. It's about people's legitimate thoughts of DSP. And he wanted to say, I want to get on YouTube. DSP's a piece of shit. And this is before all the jealousy now Phil says, like, oh, they were just jealous of my YouTube career. This is before his YouTube was doing anything for him besides hey, he's getting some views, but it meant nothing, right? <laughs> it just, yeah, well, you got views, but you didn't get money for it. And this is what Phil says. They're all jealous of him. So, anyways. Well, in, in, the, in the Ask the King, he's like, well, I didn't expect people to hate on me. Like, dude, how long were you on the SRK forums and in the Street Fighter community and everybody did nothing but hate on you? Yes. How did you not expect that continuing forward? <laughs> yeah, You've never yeah. gone anywhere and not been hated. It comes with <laughs> the territory of being you, as sad as that is. like, I think he thought, uh, now I'm in something new, so now people can't hate me for this too, right? But wouldn't you, wouldn't you be shocked to learn? They can, and they were. <laughs> so... Uh, let's. I'm sure that's what he's talking about right here. Uh, uh, haters ruining things like eBay auctions and stuff like that. People coming from my past to basically insult the shit out of me. Which... I think it has to be that, unless I'm proof. Yeah, I would otherwise. say it has to be yeah. that. Same month that happened. 
<laughs> I really didn't expect or had no idea where that came from or why that even happened. But the bottom line is this. Hey. Know, even hey. with all that negativity, you have to stay positive. Um, I have thousands upon thousands of awesome fans who have really supported me. Who thousands me upon out. thousands. I, have, I mean, a website now that's 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 blossoming. Almost 5,000 members as of today, which is amazing. Whoa. I mean, I'm really hoping that maybe over the, over the Christmas break we'll get some more people who have more time and they can sign up. <laughs> and that's amazing about that. It's only been out for about a month, this website. Uh, probably about a month and a half. And 5,000 members? That's crazy. <laughs> and everyone's actively participating. Everyone is, is, you know... Interacting. Watching, rating, participating everywhere. So hey! Honest. Watching, rating, watching, hey, participating. We did the thing. Good feedback. And it's just, it's, it's really positive. And I just want to let everyone know I'm so grateful for everything that you guys have given me over the past couple of months when this could have been some of the worst months of my life. Mm -hmm. And instead, it ended up actually kind of turning around and being a breath of fresh air for me, which is really oh, what I so needed great, during dude. this time. You know, losing your job Very cool. can be a horrible thing. Oh, and there's my timer telling me that I'm almost at 30 minutes, so I need to stop this. But uh, thank you, everyone, for everything that you've that done. thick-ass uh, phonies, guys. <laughs> for your support. Anyone who's done anything, you know, if, if the least you've done is watch a couple videos and left a couple comments, even that counts. And, uh, <laughs> oh, God, even even that counts. What about just people yo, watching? Yeah. How about just I watching? Was... <laughs> well, I, th shout out Steve then. Didn't he leave a couple comments on DSP videos yeah. back in the day? He, he did enough. Way uh -huh. to go. Like I said, if this works out and this ends up being, you know, something that I can do for a full-time job, the sky is the limit. Guys, You're limited. See a lot of new things. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna definitely try to get out to different events like gaming conventions. A lot of people have mentioned Magfest. A lot of people have mentioned Ooh. PAX East, um, E3. Those are the kind of things I'm gonna be trying. Hey, we to did some of those. Yeah, Magfest we did. Because you know that I'm gonna E3 we, we did. Give you coverage. Yeah, yeah. Everyone else is gonna be honest, and I think that's what everyone wants. So uh, we're gonna oh. see what happens. I'm really, you know, super fingers crossed, and everyone out there, if you cross your fingers, oh, with me, that this works. <laughs> Look at those hams. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I, I'm not too big on other people's fingers as is, and these these uh, these chops he's got here ain't for me, man. If he brings up Yucky. his feet, if he brings his feet into this, the stream is over. Just letting you know. <laughs> out, I mean, I've, I've done everything to the T. I've done everything the right way. Oh, I've done everything to the what? <laughs> I mean, that this works out. I mean, I've I've done everything to the T. I've done. Oh, chat. Uh, rest, no, rest in peace. peace. Yeah. Everything the right he way. totally didn't kill that and, guy. Uh, <laughs> no, stop the slander. Me and, and help me. So it's in the hands of of, of other powers right now. But wow, can't even take take can't even put take this into his own hands. It's it's. I've done everything I could do. Now it's out of it's in the powers of of something. And help me. So it's in the hands of of, of other powers right now. It's in the hands of other other powers. powers. Yeah, this is an anime. Jesus or whoever, maybe I don't know, man. <laughs> other powers. Stay tuned. We'll see what other powers decide to do to Gamer DSP. Now, but what we have to see over the next couple of days is see what happens and go from there. I wonder and what that's talking positive. about. Exactly. And again, everyone, thank you so much. Yeah, maybe it is the machinima you know, thing. Now, the I other powers are the, you know, yeah. head honchos <laughs> over there, I guess. I don't know. My family and my friends have been so supportive uh -huh. of what I've been doing over the past two months. It's amazing. And ah, <laughs> oh, but wow, Frog Machine, you always bring the heat. Floor. <laughs> the AdSense ban happens during the next week. <laughs> so I guess it was. Hey, if the you guys could click mean. on the ads. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> the, in addition to that, just to have thousands of people who also oh, love God, what I do so on. much that they're willing to, 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 to go out of their way to try to help me so that I can do it. It's just it's amazing. Yeah, it's the first time anyone in my life has have had a positive reaction to anything in my life. That's what's shocking to him right here, is that this is the first time that he's found some people, some group of people that don't find him to be what he is, a, a, you know, a douchebag about everything. And now he's really shocked by this. He, he is hyped up by this. He's found an audience, finally. You know, there's times when... It is when kind of astonishing. Uh -huh. You say, wow, who the hell would want to live in such a horrible world? But then you get these glimpses and moments of amazing <laughs> positivity, and you're like, wow. What a horrible world. <laughs> horrible world. But in 2010, you know, he doesn't even know yet. It yeah. gets worse, my guy. Don't you don't even know. Think this is the, you're approaching the peak. Times when, you, when you look at the world and you say, wow, who the hell would want to live in such a horrible world? But then you get these glimpses and moments of amazing positivity, and you're like, wow, this is what it's all about.
Yeah. And you just wish that everyone could would would, would see that about the world and understand that. But mm-hmm. uh, this is what it's all about. Fortunately, dude. not everyone's as lucky as me. That's kind of that. sad, isn't it? So uh-huh. thank you, everyone. Who's it's uh, not everyone's as lucky as me, dude. To help me, and uh, we're gonna do this. Fingers crossed. Uh-oh. We're gonna try to do this together, and we're gonna make this work. So we'll see. Wow, we start, we're gonna do this together. We're already with the Wii stuff. What happens, I will let you know. But for now, this is DSP, the Thanksgiving edition of Ask the King, signing off. Everyone have a happy oh, there's Thanksgiving. The, there, there's the transition. Hey. <laughs> this is the best transition in the business. Half the screen. DSP, the Thanksgiving edition of Ask the King, signing off. <laughs> Everyone have a happy Thanksgiving. I'll see you guys later. What? The job of this transition, once again, is just to get the Ask the King off the screen. So what it means she is... she doesn't have to do. No, it doesn't do anything. It's just a huge fucking file, PNG file, I'm sure, that is so huge. Look at where the borders are. They're nearly to his chest. Signing off. Everyone have a happy Thanksgiving. Yeah. I'll see you guys later. See you guys it's later. It's actually half the screen. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's insane. <laughs> it's amazing, dude. All right, next one of the day. We always do two every episode. This time we're jumping ahead a bit. Uh, we're going episode eight. Uh, which takes place just three months after the one we just watched, though. Oh, no, excuse me. This takes place in 2011. So, yeah, so, Jay, I'm right. Three months after this, three months after the one we just watched, we are going to see King of Hate, episode, uh, Ask the King, episode eight. All right, so get in, strap in, second one of the day, second and last of the day. Lay up, motherfucker! I can't imagine one. how hard it is to find these men. This guy's got three subs. What have? How did you get here? <laughs> <laughs> this is a, a person put this together basically just for this, just for stuff like this that uh are oh, lost okay, along okay. the way. So yeah, shout outs to Derek loves Kosovo HD one. <laughs> Derek loves Kosovo. Uh, <laughs> Very good. Uh, welcome to the February seventeenth. 17- but yes, these are you can't find these on any uh, Phil channel. They are totally gone from Phil's existence. They had to be saved by legends. And he is looking. What is this look? <laughs> yeah, he is uh, looking special today. <laughs> yeah. He's got a. <laughs> this had to be. I guess he's dropped the vodka diet. I guess the do- vodka and diet coke diet isn't in effect. I guess at this point because he's looking rough right here. An edition of Ask the King. I'm DSP. And I'm here what? to answer your... What's he looking at? <laughs> what? That? what? 2011 edition of Ask the King. I'm DSP. And I'm here to answer... <laughs> that was odd. Your forum... The, the corner demon's Remember, airborne today. <laughs> yeah, flying around. If you want to ask uh, me something, you can always go to thekingofhate.com. And in the forums, there's okay. the Ask the King thread. There'll always be a thread for the next upcoming episode of Ask the King. Okay. And also, you can uh, post up Twitter questions. On my Twitter account, they call me DSP. Uh, the day of me doing uh, an Ask the King video, and I always post that up on Twitter that okay, day. Whatever. So people know that it's open for submission. So here we go. A lot of questions. Oh, uh, right. that oh boy. I, I wanted to answer for you. Some of these are going to have really quick answers, but I think that it's just because Rapid a lot of fire those style. things that have been going on. Like look at, the po- look at this uh, nice polo sweater. Like so, all right, let's get nice What move- is polo? Nice moobage going on, the left side. Get to it. First the hand. question. Is uh, says, hey Phil, your popularity has hit a new high, and it seems as though you're becoming sort of like the angry video game nerd and the nostalgia hey. critic in terms of popularity. Well, first, of- uh oh, are we gonna claim uh... bigger than either of those gentlemen? Let's see. By the way, both of those gentlemen are even despite what the guy with the glasses has done and how he t- went got sent through the fucking coals for how he treated his v- workers. He still is making videos to this day that get hundreds of thousands of views. And we've already talked about Angry Video Game Nerd. Uh, so let's see how Phil's going to handle this one. First of all, before I even continue with the question, thank you for saying that. I honestly have no idea, you know, how popular I'm becoming. I definitely wouldn't say I'm, I'm as popular as the Angry Video Game Nerd. I mean, that guy has, what? you know, hundreds upon hundreds of thousands. Oh, a little humility here. Views on all of his videos. Um, it's strange to me that he says that he doesn't know, though. Like, he sees the numbers. Oh, I know he, he sees the he numbers. Knows. He talks about the numbers when they're low on views. He knows the fucking numbers. Don't worry about that. And uh, I would... I don't even know, dude. What? What's the... Well, who cares? Who's keeping track of this, huh? Think that he's a What's the point of lying, lying, though? That's, I I, that's the part that always gets me, man. Why lie? Because he has to appear to be, I don't care about it. It's amazing. I don't care, though. <sighs> it's like, whatever. I don't care, but... I, mean, I am, but then again, I'm full-time on YouTube, and he's not, so... I don't know, but anyway, thank you for that. Yeah, Slash, I, sh- I said that incorrectly. It was all his... It, not... It wasn't every, the guy with the glasses himself that did the stuff, but it was his like business partner, the Mike guy. Yeah. Compliment. I think that is a huge compliment. Um, James Ralph and Doug Walker have a lot of question and answers. 
So do you see yourself as going to conventions for Q&As and such in the future, as well as the possibility of DVDs? And that question is from ComicFan18. Oh. Um, well, yes and no. Um, is, that a two qu- is there two questions there or just one? I, I kind of got lost. Are you, I think it, uh, are you Go as- to conventions <laughs> and do... do All right, uh, I'll hit it. Our, our question counter is a little bit bugged. Here's tonight, the but thing. Maybe it's... <laughs> maybe we might be at 12, <laughs> but 13 questions tonight only. Uh, if I go to say... I can remember maybe three of them. <laughs> We had 13 yeah. questions, and I remember, like, maybe three, but um, here we go. Absolutely. I'd love to mingle with the fans and meet everyone. Oh, God, uh, I would definitely so consider doing a Q&A session. Mingle with the fans. But uh, one of the ones that I definitely wanted to go to was MAGFest, and unfortunately I missed the date, uh, the cutoff date, to register and have a table and even register for an event like a Q&A or anything like that because at that point I didn't know if I was going to be able to have, be doing yep. these videos as a full-time job, so... Uh, there is another one coming up. I believe it's called Too Many Games. I think that may be in May. Ah. Uh, and that is somewhere would in go the to that. area. Or maybe it's it's just the northeast of the United States. I'm not sure where. Uh, but anyway, the bottom line is this. How does hey. he not know these things? This is something he's thinking about going to. He doesn't know the I'm name. Doesn't know where it's at. I did a search <laughs> it's not uh, important. a month or two ago for like, popular gaming conventions. And honestly, I didn't really see a lot of them. I think what it is is a lot of them are like combined with anime conventions and stuff like that. Oh, no, we not, can't have that. Part of that scene. Oh, no, there's there's girls in anime. That's can't valuable. have that stuff. He says that stuff is gay. Anything anime at this point is gay. You know what's popular and what's not. Um, but yeah, if I ever did go to one, I'd definitely consider doing a Q&A session about anything. The okay. thing is, though, I have asked the king every two weeks, and I usually do oh, answer a lot God. of the fan questions. You so, are... <laughs> unlike Doug Walker, or unlike James Rolfe, who don't have this kind of a deal and this kind of interaction with their fans, I think I have a little bit more of a personal touch, and I end up answering a lot of your questions anyway. Um, I think I have more of a personal um, touch. All right. In regards to a DVD... Bill managed to put himself over. Yeah, uh, I'm a little bit different than those guys. We have a real interaction here, guys. Right, press right, to figure right. out what the hell I could sell on a DVD, considering everything that I do is... Too much work. Like, that's another thing. Those guys did, like, crazy release DVDs because he made extra money, and it took work, though. But uh, I can't do any DVDs. What's wrong with you? Video game footage. Yeah, that was definitely yeah, before my time buying DVDs and that. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah, that was a big part of the <laughs> content creation back in the day. Because, I mean, there's, there was the, like, rise of reviewers where reviewers were, like, the hot shit on YouTube. And they all had DVDs because, I mean, they sold them. They made money on them. One thing to put it on YouTube, and it's another thing entirely to try to sell it uh, with copyright issues and such. I'm sure that I could always defend myself and say it's fair use. It's a creative work because I have live commentary and criticism over what I'm doing. Okay, but at whatever. the same time, yeah, it's still justifying what he does. If yep. Someone tried to sue me for it, and that might not be worth the hassle. Plus, I honestly don't have any kind of uh, a means to mass produce DVD. My sister's face is beautiful. January Rose in the house says, I love DSP era of the cute, chubby man baby, but his know it all attitude is annoying. January Rose is a, a regular on the stream, and they are not against the old DSP era in terms of uh, physical style. So interesting. January Rose, welcome. So. Uh, Jenny uh, Rose, don't come to my streams, brother. I'll just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mods, you know what to do over there. Um... <laughs> no, we, we welcome everyone here. WPIG is very welcome. It's always up in the air, but for now... Yeah. There goes January Rose. No, no, I'm playing. I'm playing. <laughs> the ALT of DSP. Yes. As I am to to Cat, maybe January Rose is the DSP. I, I like that comparison. Not something I'm really looking to do in the immediate future. Oh, God, Sip. Er, the look. The look. The oh, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. That I'm really looking at. The, this is the stare down. We stare fully down the barrel. <laughs> <laughs> down the barrel of the gun here. <laughs> what I say, what I mean by that is sell DVDs. Um, all right. Now- what I say, what I mean by that? What I say, what I mean by that is sell DVDs. <laughs> but I say, yeah. what I mean by that. <laughs> bada boom, bada bing. <laughs> Italian right, style. Question. Yeah. Bill, what is your stress reliever? And that's from Kuchar. Oh, I know what it is. We do it right before stream. <laughs> right before yeah. stream, we do it, brother. Um. Well, I have to admit, you know, that I, what I like to do usually is if I... Oh, okay. He said, I have to admit. So what do you think we're going with here, Atlas? He said, I have to admit. So it's something that he might think is kind of negative to say. Are we getting alcohol or something else? What do you think? Oh, uh, alcohol was my first thought. I'm not gonna lie. Before you said it, my first thought was like a little, a little drinky drink. Uh-huh. A, you know, drinky poo here and there. You know, yeah, nothing wrong with that, right? Come on, as long as you're not an alcoholic, right? Come on. <laughs> I have a stressful day or a really busy day, or I'm just tired for whatever reason. I plop down on my couch. I lay down. I have a nice drink. You know, rum and coke. Let's go. You know, <laughs> yeah. Vodka crayon, and I watch. <laughs> Fuck. 
Michael Cran. <laughs> That's totally normal, and it's totally fine to call him Vodka Cran, but when he, he says it, it's very funny. Vodka Cran. Um, I have a nice drink. Nothing you know, he does I'm seems gonna... normal. It doesn't matter what it is, just totally normal stuff when he does it is absurd. <laughs> that Cran has a big A sound. Here we go. Rum and Coke and Vodka Cran. Get ready. Coke or, you know. Vodka crayon, and I watch some TV, um, which is pretty much what most of America still does. Um, what? I TiVo a lot of different shows, including wrestling. As you Shout know, out TiVo. Smart guy oh God. You know. But a couple other things. Uh, like that- he's even nervous to like be this personable about like just doing nothing. He has to always be appear to be working. All right. So like, oh yeah, I have to be honest. Like sometimes I watch TV. I mean, you know, like he thinks yeah, it's a that negative, is very you know? weird. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay to do that kind wow. of stuff, you know? It's okay to, like, watch TV sometimes, but he thinks he can't be like that ever. He always has to be a hardworking dude, right? That I watch a lot of the prime time shows that a lot of people like, like House or Bones and that kind of stuff. <laughs> House, Bones. Watch so, normal like, people's shows. I sit in my own, on my couch in my own little condo, and I, you know, do nothing like that okay cool I know. just say watch tv doesn't that be a big fucking deal oh look he's drunk right now on this screenshot oh yeah he's <laughs> slopped up now <Damn. laughs> he said too many vodka crayons at this point watching bones <laughs> what episode is it i don't care put on bones oh uh, i actually watched some of american idol yeah, I find it hilarious during the auditions. So everybody did back hilarious. in the day. Yeah, though. that was the show, dude. Phil is basic bitch on every TV show. Whatever the most popular show is, that's what he's watching. It's later in the season when normally they end up with like a top ten, and out of the top ten, seven of them suck. And it's like, how the fuck did they vote these idiots oh, in? Can you imagine Phil watching a, a, a fucking American Idol? Uh, this guy sucks. What? This guy. Yo, you think he was? <laughs> You think he was sending those texts, though, back in the day? They were like, you know, (laughs) text your winner. He was definitely (laughs) voting, absolutely. Uh, I like some of that stuff I like. Uh, America's Got Talent. I actually really like that show. Oh, he loved the talent shows. Damn, he's all over it. Oh, even though a couple years ago, I think it was rigged. Um, What? A couple uh, years ago, it was rigged? All right, maybe that's a story from that time. (laughs) Yeah, there's different things I do, you know? It's... And every once in a while, you might say, gee, do you you ever use play a video game to, to, to relax? Well... The bottom line is I actually Jesus. enjoy hey. just, like, kind of messing around with video games. Sometimes when I'm making videos, it is relaxing for me. Like when I was doing those Halo fan appreciation matches, I didn't care about winning. It was relaxing just to like sit there and interact with fans and, okay. and have fun. Um, so, yeah, uh, there's a lot of different things I do as stress relievers. What? This is so odd. He, he named like two things yeah, well, and they're just like normal people's shit. Like, okay. Well, t- drinking and TV, that combo. But it's like, why does he have to answer? Like, it's look at this. Like, what is this for? <laughs> huh? <laughs> doom, boom, 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 boom. I have hobbies. This is the reaction he gives. <laughs> like, what? You just like stuff. I mean, that's, you do stuff when you're not gaming. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, next question. Hey. hey, Phil, on Super Street Fighter 4 or any fighting game, what do you think is the most difficult God motion damn. to pull off in a match? Oh, God. Is it the motion like Giles Ultra? Come on, we got to ban game questions. Ultra 1 or it's Ultra <laughs> I'm thinking about banning them. Two. Well, like, Super Street Fighter Starchy. questions specifically uh-huh. could go by the wayside, as far as I'm concerned. I'm yeah. not a Street Fighter style guy, so this shit way over my head. Uh-huh. I don't, I don't Forward, know nothing. When they get deep into it, that's when you really just want to end it. And also, what are your thoughts on the costume packs or DLC for games like Super Street Mm. All right, that's interesting. That has some. That is interesting. Ties. I'm yeah. I'm peaked. Let's I'm see peaked. what he gets there. Just keep adding stuff. Thanks. That's from Mandark FFF. Shout out to um, Mandark FFF. Well, first of all, the hardest move to pull off in a fighting game that is a, is a 720, which means Ooh. you need to do two two full circles. Yeah. Uh, Explaining 720. Wow. Big ups. <laughs> Hell yeah. Simply because you can't usually do it without buffering something to make you stand in place so you don't jump by accident. Or by jumping in and trying to land and get it perfect timing. Uh, there are people that have perfected the move where they actually can do it so fast they can do a standing 720, meaning they don't have to buffer off of anything. They don't have to jump to do it. They can actually walk up and then all of a sudden do a 720 throw super, which is yeah. pretty crazy. Um, but outside of that, the other hardest, totally crazy. Uh, insane. The hardest motion to pull off was probably something like Yeast Howard Super in the King of Fighters series, where it was like, down getting back. a double answer for this? <laughs> I know. Didn't you already answer the question? Why are we getting a double answer? Half circle back, down well, double answer. and, uh, <laughs> down and, and forward, the buttons back. together. And it was multiple buttons you had to push at the same yeah, time. Hell yeah. A lot of SNK older fighters, like Fatal Fury, the original oh, King of Fighters, had a lot of more difficult motions than what a lot of the games have evolved to these days. Uh-huh. Um, Bow. Modern, modern controls. Still about DLC costume packs. Here we go. 
Okay, so will what do you think his thoughts are on this? This is not that easy of an answer because we know now he does buy him when he does buy him right away, first chance he gets. But back then, was he buying him or not, Atlas? What do you think? Uh, well, DSP, much like me, is a hater at his core. So I'm gonna go with that he absolutely hates them, but I think he still bought them just okay. like today. All right. I think he's always been the same. <laughs> I mean. They are what they are. It's not like it's essential to gameplay okay. to have all the costumes. You know what I mean? In fact, I haven't. Okay, everyone that has a brain understands that part of it. Which, which you are they cool or not? Are you buying them or not? Well, all the costumes for Super Street Fighter Four, and I really don't give a shit. Oh wait, wait, wait! I'm here. Do you know what I mean? In fact, I haven't bought all the costumes for Super Street Fighter. He hasn't bought all the costumes. That's yeah, the yeah, yeah. That's all the qualifier. I heard the that costumes. all the costumes. <laughs> Four, yes. I don't give a shit. Um, give a shit. It's a cheap way for Capcom to make uh, money, and it's op <laughs> okay. optional content. I don't think anyone should be putting up a gripe about it. Ooh. Okay. Don't even wow. complain about it. Okay. Don't complain about it, bitch. That'll change. Uh, next question. Do you think that games that are released for only one system get more or less sales? I guess he's talking about console exclusives. Oh, God. Uh, do you think if a game you could just look it up. Only, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> you ask you, Business Insider Phil Where here. Not? PS360. Does have a business degree. To be completely honest, this is not an Finance, finance. Question. This is a factual question. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Started with finance, then went business. I know the answer to this. Do you think that games that are released for only one system get more or less sales? They get less. For example, if oh, Black God. Ops only came out for 360, it would have had a lot less sales than if it was out for both Xbox 360 and 360. And yeah, what PS3. about ex That's exclusivity deals? It's on two consoles. It's <sighs> but the question of, do Xbox exclusives or ps3 exclusives sell more that's also a no-brainer it's definitely xbox exclusives number one simply because there are more xbox 360 sold worldwide total than there are ps3s is that and true number two is that um, true i don't that, that sounds I, very off to me but because i, I want to say maybe yeah. at the time because the ps3 released like a couple years later oh, okay. you know could be. Yeah, yeah yeah so could be good i don't know if that stands true to this day but I, yeah, because I know, like, Japan, they, they like, Xbox does not sell at all there. Uh, just not a thing. Uh, and PS just k kills Xbox in Japan, at least. But I don't know about anywhere else. A lot else. of people. Uh, a lot of people. Shout they, out. They choose the console-exclusive games. Um, no, actually, you know what? I, miss, I thought that went out the wrong way. I mean, that's really the answer, <laughs> just because there's more Xboxes out there than there are PS3s. Oh, as of this really month, PS3 did outsell. Um... In million units, 87.4 for the PS3 and then hey. uh, 85.7 for the 360. Fuck, 360. Oh. It was like years of Yeah, war. get them out of here. <laughs> uh, the Mass Effect 1 and, and uh, oh, 2. God, come on. You compare their sales with, you know, exclusives like Uncharted. I mean, oh, yeah, you're going to find that probably they're e equal, if not more. Um, I would probably say that, like, the Halo games completely blow away any of the console exclusives that have been on PS3. Yeah, yeah. But it is, it's, I'm not saying those games are better by any means. I'm just saying... Fact is a fact, and the fact is, Xbox Why are you so scared of having an opinion on that? It's so weird. Not saying they're yeah, better, by the way. Come on. <laughs> what you say your opinion? It's crazy what he's willing to to fence sit on and then to take such a hard stance on other things that, like, you would think you could just fence sit on and it would be fine. Yeah. It's like, it's okay to say what you like or no. I'm not saying that, okay? Don't freak out. He's terrified to tell you he watches TV and has a drink, <laughs> but uh, when it comes to consoles, he's like, well, fact's a fact, uh, 360. Yeah. Like, okay. <laughs> Okay. Uh, okay. Hey, Phil, congrats on beating the odds of becoming a YouTube partner. Thank you. Well, it's not really me. It's my partnership program through Machinima. Ah, okay. Machinima. That was it then. I think that kind of confirms it. That Machinima was the thing he was waiting, waiting on, and now he has. Now he can make money from YouTube thanks to Machinima. Uh, what do you think of the... Well, real money. He was already making money on the non-gaming shit, but, you know, that was a very small th portion. Revolutionary facial animation engine used in the upcoming L.A. Noir game. Oh, L.A. Noir game. That's a good one. Star. Would this be, or could this be, 2011? Leave us the iconic X to doubt, big uh -huh. ups. X to doubt, yes. And uh, that's a great playthrough <laughs> from him, too, because he does not understand that game at all. By Solid Snake. Um, Solid Snake, big ups. Well, by the way, Solid Snake isn't the only person asking me about Ellen Noir. A lot Ooh. of people have been asking me about this game. And, yeah, uh, it was huge. I have to say, the game's looking really good. Good, it's, it's again, it's a Grand Theft Auto style game, and again, people say, "Oh, well, that's just that's uh, true." Okay, that's, <laughs> the <laughs> yeah, that's the first thing I think of. Yeah, that's the first thing I think of. How Phil drives, maybe, but oh yeah, oh I, that's the only thing I remember about his playthrough. <laughs> Bashing through everywhere.
I like when the people are trying to talk in the car, like a calm conversation, but he's banging <laughs> he's it. In. <laughs> yeah. They still keep the calm conversation, you know? What do you think was going on back there? You think we're going to find any more clues? Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, yeah, we got to find more clues back there. Grand Theft Auto, then they did Red Dead Redemption, now L.A. Noir. Um, the game is nothing like Grand Theft Auto, though. I've read oh, about this. Oh, okay. It's what? Like very... Oh, wait, hold on. Did he himself say that it was like Grand Theft Auto? Grand Theft Auto is not Grand Theft Auto style. And, uh, I have to say, the game's looking really good. It's it's Again, it's a Grand Theft Auto style game. And again... What? Again, it's a Grand Theft Auto style game. It's a Grand Theft Auto style game. This is what he said himself. Keep that in your mind as we go forward like five seconds. And people say, oh, well, that's, isn't that just a rip off of Grand Theft Auto? Isn't that all that Rockstar can do? First they did Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> it's a Grand Theft Auto style game. Isn't that just ripping off of Grand Theft Auto? And they did Red Dead Redemption now. It's made by the off. same people. They can yeah. rip off their own shit if they want. <laughs> like, who's going like to stop them? So remember, remember, he started this with it's a Grand Theft Auto rip off. Um, Okay. The game is nothing like Grand Theft Auto, though. I've read up... What? Okay, so now it's not like that. And it's more of a very interesting mystery thriller. It's a lot about detective work. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Couldn't re-record this one. Watch when this yawn starts taking his face. I thought we were going to... Oh, my God. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> look, it looked like he was holding in a sneeze. But look, he's starting to get hit by it now. Look at the nose. It's taking a weird curl. That's the coming in. That's the yawn coming in. Engage yawn. All right, go on. Detective work. A the tired side. Um, a little on the tired side. It's a lot about on the tired work. side. It's actually about using the, the spatial recognition software that they used. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Really captured the, the little nuances in facial movements and mm -hmm. eye movements, things like that. Cool, dude. And you're going to see if you look at the... The footage of this game the faces look super realistic i actually oh. have a friend who has a friend or an acquaintance who's an actor and they actually hired him uh to scan his face and actually act out some of his role oh. in this game which is really cool that they're actually getting real actors to do motion capture with this new revolutionary technology oh. Uh, do I think this game's going to be 2011's version of Heavy Rain? I mean, it was super cool, I mean, but if you attention. look at some of the footage, like, the uh, exaggeration in their faces is is uh, wild. Yeah, yeah, so... but Phil couldn't even pick up on that. Like, they were, like, the obvious shit. Like, if you've never seen that, hold on, well, might as well. We're on the, this is the field trip show. I'm not going to go over that one. That's our... I love a good field trip. Yeah. I was a kid not that long ago. Field trips are still, like, my favorite thing. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> All right, so let's go to nine years ago edition. Let's just watch. Let's watch. What I was going to say was... Let's find one kind of... I like when they're faces and you have to choose lying or not. Some castle marks? What's it made from? Plaster of Paris would be my first guess. Then paint it. Huh. So we can rule out the murder <laughs> angle? No, you can rule that Let's in. Let's see uh, interrogation. That thing was what? wedging the accelerator to the floor. Whoa. Whoever did it wanted these women dead. <laughs> Holy shit. Good, yeah. Let's see some driving. Oh shit! Oh! 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 Oh, oh, Jesus Christ! It's a game where you're a cop and he just committed vehicular manslaughter. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay, oh shit! Here we go. <laughs> let's watch one. Let's watch it like two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Looking good so far. Just getting shot. Stand taking, there. Taking fire. There's some shitty cover. Okay. You you choose that, sir. What the fuck? On the ground. Now. What the fuck? I can't get a good view. <laughs> He's getting shot up. <laughs> he says, put your weapons on the ground now. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> you got it. After I've already shot you ten times. Okay, now I'll put him down. Here we go. I'm never, I'm never not surprised how bad he can be. Uh, do you wanna aim at something? You wanna play the fucking game? Like, 
I don't have a fucking shot. <laughs> fuck them up. Says, oh, fuck them up, of course. Alright, we'll stop this. Like, it's a shame you murdered yeah, them. Yeah, with yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, anyway uh, get successful get field trip. Yeah, uh, <laughs> he's I'm bad at games. Sure. Cool, cool. <laughs> I'm not completely sure that this game is going to be so much different from the sandbox concept. Um, it's extremely different than the sandbox you know, concept. I was going to say that, yeah. I don't know, maybe a lot of people will be turned off. I don't know, I want to reserve my judgment until I play it. It seems what? like it's going to be an original game. It does seem like it has a lot of elements that could make it a very, very unique experience. Uh -huh. So let's just see together. When let's we, see when together. Play. Um, a lot so of features have, that could make it robust, of course. I have no opinion. Uh, we'll just see together. All right, thanks for answering the question, sir. I'm here. All right. Next question. Uh, hey, Phil, a while ago I was watching the hey, Dead Phil. Pixel show, Inside Gaming on Machinima. And on one of the episodes, he mentioned Tyra Banks yelling at some guy and uh -oh. telling him off for game addiction on her show. She was saying things like, you're 23, not Tyra Banks. 13. <laughs> I wonder if Phil likes Tyra Banks. Shit. While watching, I was thinking to myself how funny it would be to see oh, Tyra Banks pick, pick. play Black Ops. But anyway, what's your opinion uh, on what? game addiction? What? This is just an extremely dented question. And that is from Single Cell 55. Well, single Brain Cell. I didn't see the Tyra Banks show. I'm not going to comment... Um, you know, out of out of perspective of what was going on in that show, I have no idea. I mean, mm -hmm. maybe the guy that was on the show plays Black Ops, you know, 70 uh, 70%, 80 percent of his time. And if that's the case, that's really. I'm concerned up. he was going to say 70 hours a day. I'm not yeah, going to lie. He was I thought that's where it. he was going. <laughs> you can tell he was. His, the all the the gears were grinding there about what to say on that number. I'm doing this gaming as a full time job, and even I take several hours out of the day to do other things. Oh, so right, I right, do right. know for a like fact order people, pizza and drink uh, gyms. So yep. addicted to games. And lay and watch TV like bones. Not only FPS games like Black Ops, but especially MMO RPGs like World of Warcraft. I know people who started playing World of Warcraft and people didn't see them for three fucking years. And that's uh -huh, scary. Right. Okay. That's scary. Dude. I mean there's a fine line. If you can turn gaming into something that's this is some real uh, this dates just it. a hobby or a way to kill time, a pastime, if you would. <laughs> pastime. And, and then I could say, okay, you, maybe you weren't spending that kind of serious time playing it, but these people, they take these games that have a... Ah, so I make money from it, so I'm allowed. Okay, got it. ...social aspect, like World of Warcraft, and they use it as a replacement for their own life, usually... <gasps> what do you use for your social replacement, sir? You said our. You told Oof. us yourself at the at the interview that chat, that fucking chat, is your only social interaction. That's what you said. People don't like their own real lives. Which is probably, so if you ask me, worse than playing like uh, World of Warcraft uh, with your friends or yeah. whatever. Because at least you like uh, like have to do something and no, actually they, communicate. Yeah, they can talk to you. Instead, we have conversations where Phil just says stuff. Replacement for their own life, usually because these people don't like their own real lives. And so they try to escape. Ah, uh, usually people play WoW because they don't like their own lives. Okay, uh-huh. That's, uh, yeah, the millions of players, they all hate their life, uh-huh. ...to this virtual world, and that's pretty scary. Um, <laughs> that's pretty scary. So, yeah, I mean, gaming addiction definitely can exist. I know it does exist for a fact. Is it... <laughs> all right. Do you want me to say those last two sentences one more time? Yeah, gaming if you addic could. Damn gaming addiction can exist. I know for a fact that it does exist. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> That's what he just said. <laughs> Probably not. Uh, games are just starting to hit the mainstream at this point. They're becoming big business. Is it a huge and, uh, epidemic? Probably not. Okay. It can exist, and actually, it, it, does, it does exist. Don't really, don't really fit that archetype of a game that you would be so addicted to that all you want to do is play that game nonstop. There's very oh yeah, there's games. the addictive game archetype. <laughs> Okay. I was just about to say, what is this archetype? Like, yeah. that's what you know what archetype that is? Those fucking time waster mobile games that people spend money on for the fucking pools. Those are addictive style games. They're made to be as addictive as possible. They are 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 get, counting using your psychological your psychological style brain against you. <laughs> you know they they know what gets addicts to spend, and that is what they're doing. You know. That is what the amount Scope of money that they had to spend to figure out which buttons to push in your brain. Absolutely, one hundred percent. They that's that's those games. You're right. Yeah. You're right. They're just designed to see how long can we keep someone playing and how how can we get maximum dollars. And that's what everyone says. I know is every business is like that in the end. How can we get maximum dollars from customers? Right. That's totally cool. But fucking Scopely is it's it, it has that gambling aspect as well to it and that's what makes it fun right you never know what's going to happen but they know how to keep that just like 
a fucking slot machine, you know? Just give people enough wins to keep that slot machine going down and keep that fucking handle going down. That's exactly what Scopely's doing. Black Ops, the Call of Duty series, and the MMORPGs that are like that. Uh, maybe you know, some of these stupid social networking games like... Uh, I forget what it was, what, Farmville, Farmville or whatever on Facebook. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice pull. Speed style, guess there. Farmville fucking asses. Facebook, so I don't know what the hell the game is, but that kind of stuff could get highly addictive, and you, if you're, if you notice that it's starting to impede upon other things that you need to do, like work, school, your own life, eating, friends, eating, family, that kind of stuff, that's when you have to kind of take a step back and say, listen, I need to reevaluate what the hell I'm doing with okay, my life. Okay, thank you, so, Phil. I will. Oh, uh, yeah. Game Addiction exists. I think it's silly. I, don't, I have no idea what Tyra Banks was saying. Oh, uh, no, I heard she okay. probably was blowing it completely out of proportion uh, and it had nothing to do, you know, she didn't know what she was Hey, guys, I think drug addictions like, exist. No. I think they're <laughs> silly, but... <laughs> yes. well, okay. I think it's basically silly, dude. All right, next question. All right. Is do you think getting famous around the internet changed you in some way? And that's from Okay, I can I can guarantee the answer here is going to be no, it didn't change me at all. I'm the same guy I've always been. That's always going to Oh, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are the exact words I was thinking is I've <laughs> I've been I'm always been the same guy. Same guy I always been. Like, <laughs> yep. yeah. David Borges, uh again, I have to kind of say, I guess I'll take that as a compliment and say thank you because I sure don't feel famous. Um, oh, God. You know, besides the fact that I no longer have a nine-to-five job in an office. You wears humility worse than anybody I've ever seen. Yep. Get paid. That's pretty much the only change that I really feel. I don't really feel like, you know, so much has changed in my life. I mean, I'm not filthy rich by any means. That's crazy. I'm, uh, you know, I'm actually waiting to see if this whole uh, partnership with Machinima is going to work out to even support me. Um, I don't have women knocking down my door. I'm not on TV. I'm not on the internet <laughs> besides my own YouTube stuff. I don't have women knocking down my door. And a couple other related things. The real things measure like of success. How many, how many women you got at your door right now? If, <laughs> yeah. if not at least five, you're, you're a bozo fucked. to me. Yep. <laughs> AVGN must have had hundreds, dude. I do want to thank Event Hubs for featuring my Marvel vs. Capcom 3 tutorial series. Oh, big ups, uh, Event Hubs. They actually got a, a nice boost in views when they did that, so thank you. But yeah, besides being seen around the net for that kind of stuff, Didn't I'm not work. a household name by any means. So, you know, uh, again, I take... That it was white hot popular, right? It's not a household not name. Yet. You know, not yet, not yet. Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> right. Too it's early. just me. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, next question. Hey, Phil. Back in the day before okay, I... Okay, well, interesting enough, I did found um, a Dark Side Phil account on event hubs whatever that is. So let's check this out. Field trip time. Hey, field trip. So event hubs is a... Oh, big ups, Jade Reese. Nice. You're hey. a legend. Got the, got the uh, Dark Side Trump one. <laughs> I like that one. That's Meerkat's that one. Uh, so let's That's the first see. time I've ever seen that one. <laughs> let's check out the past comments of Dark Side Phil, right? We got a new account here. And this, of course, we do not know if it's him actually and stuff, but you know. Uh, list of Street Fighter gameplay from Mr. Wizard. Shoryuken's comms Mr. Wizard has come through with a list of some gameplay changes in the final build of Street for Street Fighter VI. Uh, and Phil, what does he do with this? He didn't post this, did he? No, I thought he left a comment. Oh, yeah, but there's no comment. Oh, low comments. Yes, we can low comments. Yes. Yes, 2010, too. Did we oh, find... deep style. Yeah, <laughs> we found a new source of Density Scrolls. We might have. I'm scrolling down until I see Dark Side Phil. Uh, any comment here? Let me search. There's 200 comments here. You might be here for a minute. Search, <laughs> search style. There's zero darks. Oh, we get to load more. Okay, hold on. We're going to go through this. Oh. Guys. We'll find it. Oh, Darko. Get the fuck out of Darko. Dark Side Phil. Yeah! All right, so March 10th, 2010. This is all, uh, you know, just uh, 11 months before this video was shot. He says, be at BK. All right, where's BK? Hell yeah. My girl Sakura is going to be a monster now. I'm almost scared to play with her. I'm going to be even deadly with her now. Prepare yourselves. And very interesting prepare spelling here. Prepare. <laughs> prepare. <laughs> so Dark Side Phil responds with, get out of here, you Sakura scrub. His first words on the comment are trying to start shit. Are you surprised at this point? Uh, BK comes in again, says, no need to hate on Sakura, Phil. Just because you don't like how much ass she's gonna kick now that doesn't mean you gotta hate homie i told you all from the beginning i'm if a weaker character got stronger and pro's been killing with the former ones this is gonna be child's play for us as you can see i'm just attract i'm just i just attracted a child don't play with me i'm too uh... old for people like you i just want to enjoy the game like everyone else 
On to next topic. I wonder if they fixed the length of Abel's grab. Okay, let's see if Phil responds. We have to we have to check this out now, right? We're in deep. No response. Yeah, we're already from, here. No um, response from Dark Side Phil on this. Let's go next. Uh oh, Dark Side Phil respond uh, to 201. Okay, 201. 201, sir. Where are you, 201? 201. Phil responds to you. Now I'm trying to find you. All right, I'll just search for 201 then. At 201. That's the first one. Everything. Scrubby gameplay at its finest. I have to go back. Oh, God. Oh, at comment number 201. I'm an idiot. Now, Thruller. He's ALT. You are dented. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> DSP, at, at 201. But there's no 201 yet. How could that be? Actually, I'm not wrong. Get fucked. Anyways. Oh, man. It was Phil me says, that was dented. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, this is the older one here. The 201 saying... Third strike, Chun Li is back. That's what he's responding to. Now we get the truth. And then Dark Side Phil wow. says, "There we go." Dark Side Phil says, "Everything. Trust me. Scrubby gameplay at its finest." He also says, "DJ, he seems decent. Nothing too bad. Nothing too good. Reminds you of Street Fighter Two Turbo in that way. He's very uh. inf- how very informative. Sarcasm. Looks like I gotta wait for the game to come out to find out how DJ is in this game. So a douchebag comment as usual, being negative to everyone. Uh, next up." Look at it, 224 says, shut up, God, the game hasn't been finished. I'm sure they're going to add something. Just sit back, relax, and quit the whole pity me thing. There have been plenty of high-level guiles as he is now. If you're having trouble winning, it's probably because you suck. Phil responds with, Got him. Look at it this way. At least you guile scrubs will have an excuse when I beat you scrubs and show it to my 50k subscribers! <laughs> oh my god. He can't behave anywhere, dude. There is no form in which he is not an asshole. He is, I'm going to show it to my 50K subscribers. He's trying to flex. Oh, God, what a find. But I he left. didn't expect anyone on YouTube to hate on him or whatever. Nope. Like, when you go around acting like this everywhere you go, absolutely. Like, the problem is you, man. I was just talking about this the other day. When you go, everywhere you go, if people come to the same conclusion, you're the problem. It's really that simple. All right, this is a Twitter share for sure. This, I mean, I hope there's more to find in this. This is a this is a deep mine. I don't know how much he comments. That was a problem. Uh, is there any more dark on here? There is one. A uh, two forty five said, "What did they say?" Let's check for context. We got to check that right. Uh, forty five. This is a this is hype. Two forty five says, uh, "Need more work on focus attack and less jumping." And video three says better. So something posted their their gameplay, I guess. And Phil responded with, not as sad as seeing that you can't take a joke, scrub. These numbers are fucked. That's not the right number. I'm not sure what he's responding to here, but he says, not as bad as seeing that you can't take a joke, you scrub. So, again, with the scrub. Um, but that is Yeah, the it. point is he's being an asshole again. Classic. Yeah, that's the point. Um, so, he <laughs> responded to that. Okay, oh, I can read the comments here. So, let's see. These are the, all the comments he said he's made. The sign-up was too laggy for eventhubs.com. I would destroy these guys in a lag-free in, in a lag-free environment. Oh my yes. god! <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, I'm putting them all on. Okay, uh, I'll do this later though. But let, let's see the, the comment that comes. Uh, worst geef ever recorded some good matches from work up in France. And the comments. There's only 50 comments here. Uh, does anyone mention Phil? Possibly. Let's see, Phil. Dark side. I would destroy these guys in a uh, lag-free environment. If I lost in this tournament, I would blame jet lag. What? Reloaded excuse on a forum. Yeah, like, that's what's kinda, the point of that? You odd. dumb. That's odd. <laughs> the only thing I'm sure of is that this is actually DSP because they talk exactly like DSP with that. I show this to my 50k subscribers. But anyways, let's move on. Yeah, you but, don't have yeah. to convince me. I, yes. I get it. <laughs> around the internet because i really don't feel famous okay yeah okay. maybe it's just me i don't know maybe it's just me you're uh, so next cool next question hey phil back in the day before i even started watching your vids i was subscribed to this guy who called himself drac on youtube okay I used okay to think he had the big ups drac i guess uh uh-huh. cool two videos and started loving it from that point on i pretty much stopped watching drac's vids however i still That's subscribe to him vids. and today i saw a video on his channel in that video, he basically called you a douchebag and said you are a lazy fuck for not looking for a new job. Hold on a second. Who's That's this? Bags. Who's this? Yeah. 
From that point on, I pretty much refused until I found your Bioshock 2 videos okay. and started loving it. I, was, I didn't hear the From person that was... that I pretty much stopped video on his channel. Okay. Drax. However, I still didn't love Drac? it. From that point on, I pretty much stopped watching Drax vids. However, I still subscribed Drax. to him. And today, I saw a video That's what I'm on hearing, his yeah. channel. In that video, he basically called you a douchebag. He said you are a lazy fuck for not looking for a new job. He also said he's pissed off that your fans compare him to you. I was just wondering, what is your take he's on Drax. this? I didn't comment on his video. Can't I thought find it. you was the best thing to do. And that's from mm. Mahan 1372 If anyone well, has any Drax information, send it my way. Well, this is an interesting... An interesting comment. Let me take a sip before I, I answer this one. Deep look down. Gotta take a miss. sip. Interesting. <laughs> look, interesting he go, he, every single time he looks. I... Look at that. The, the oh, look. Not only is there corner demons, there's Stein demons too. Yeah. That's what he's looking for. And he will stare deep into that thing. Deep. I answer this one. <laughs> I can't find Drax. I have to give up for now. Um, I'll try to check again, the, but no the, Drax the, right the now. The best way to answer this one is this. I'm going to reread one particular sentence of this question. Okay, yeah, great. I found your Bioshock 2 vids and started loving it, and from that point on, I pretty much stopped watching Drax vids. Okay. Why do you think that if people who used to watch other people's playthroughs watch mine and then stop watching everyone else's, why do you think that you is? Probably because there's some be Mr. element of my videos that uh -huh. people find either more entertaining or more informative or for whatever reason, they like it more than these other people that are doing playthroughs. I'll tell you right now, I have no idea who Drac is. I really don't give a shit. And uh, <laughs> Of course. Oh, God. Of course, yeah. Drac, who Drac This guy is. actually linked me to this guy's video where apparently he's calling me hey, names. Show me what that video is. Ranting about me. I don't care. I didn't watch it. Uh, the bottom line is I hear about this Ooh, kind of stuff every God. single day. There's people out there who claim that they've beaten Street Fighter who I've never heard of. There's people that say, oh, he, how oh. dare he try to turn this into a job. This is supposed to be a hobby. There's so many people who just are so upset. That someone no. like me, number one, is becoming popular when they've been trying to do the same thing and they've been unsuccessful. And number two, that I'm actually, it looks like I might be making a living doing this. Um, uh huh. So it's all jealousy. Uh huh. So I have to under, I understand that exists. Always you're has have been. That element. Yep. You're going to have the haters. You're going to have people that are jealous. You're going to have people that just don't get you. Mm -hmm. And that's fine. Uh, like I said, I've said this a hundred times before. I'll say it again. Uh -huh. If there are people who are hating on you, but you also have people who like you it means you're doing something right because <laughs> if people are, are seriously like hating on you there's something right that you're doing that they're jealous or there's some element that they want to try to bring uh -huh. you down um yeah yo he so thinks he's a rapper or uh -huh. something like that's rapper mentality <laughs> don't bring me down dude Thanks for the membership. <laughs> big ups deleted channel good luck on your pool hope you get a good one no, i don't know what this guy's problem is uh maybe, uh, maybe i rubbed him the wrong way somehow uh -huh. uh, i don't give a shit again i don't know who he is so i'm not even gonna comment like he okay. That, like, he then the comment continues. Gonna say all this nasty shit about me when I have no idea who he is or I never even heard of him. I mean, it, it is what it is. This guy was a fan of his. Watched my video, thought my video was more entertaining. Yeah. Stopped watching Drac. So of course now Drac has a bug up his ass about me. Yeah. Gee, maybe if you did something more interesting than what I do, you get your fans back. But I, I thought you both don't care and don't know who this person is. So why do you have all these thoughts? Obviously that hasn't happened. He, so he immediately <laughs> goes to, oh, he thought my video was more entertaining, more informative. Maybe it's because you put out 50 videos a day and yeah. they don't have time to watch anything else. <laughs> if they want to really keep up with you, it's a it, it's a full time job now for some reason. Uh, on 10 videos shit, a day, dude. 40 or 30 or 40 videos. Excuse me. Yeah, this is 30 or, 30 or 40 video a day time. You know, enjoy your ride to fucking obscurity. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Drive, so enjoy your ride to obscurity, dude. Going here I have so many questions. I'm trying to really pack them in this week. So You're doing a horrible job. You took five minutes on that question. Could have took a minute. So, <laughs> our next question is, are you ever going to make DSP tries it, cooking with the king, etc., ever again? And that's from the Elven God. Yes, I will. That's a good question. It's not just Elven God asking that. It's just many, many people asking me that. And the bottom Shout line out is out many, this. many people. Uh, the many fact many of the people. matter is that those series were created the back when I was, was a, a, a YouTube partner on my channel, The King of Hit HD. Ah, we're getting the lore about why he started those series, guys. It wasn't for fun. Hint, hint. It was not for fun. It was because he could monetize that when he could not monetize gaming. YouTube wasn't allowing me to put gaming footage on that channel, so I had to find filler content, basically, and uh, more entertaining content. To entertain filler people. content. Uh -huh. videos that had the, the ads for the partnership program on them. Um, now, 
Oh, is he going to say it's over because he doesn't need to do it? He can get money for gaming now? Completely out of that. As you noticed, when I was on Blip, I was still doing that stuff. But now that I'm completely out of that, the channels that I have that are partnered are How'd you for get out of that? gaming purposes only. <laughs> How'd you get out of Blip? I want to know about that. Shinobu doesn't want me putting junk up <laughs> on these channels, DSP Gaming or DSP Street Fighter. And not to say that DSP tries it and Cooking with the King, poorly Cooking with the King, by the way, was the name of it, uh, are junk, but they don't fit. The content that Machinima has partnered me to create. Okay. Um, and for me to continue to make those series, that would be nice. But number one, it doesn't benefit me at all. And number two, um, it really does. It's going to take me time away from the stuff that I need to do to keep going. So, for uh, example, need sure, to do. Today I could do a yeah. with the King, and I could do a DSP tries it. But that's going to take me away a couple hours from when I could be playing Marvel 3 and I could be learning new stuff. I could be making more tutorial videos. Uh -huh. I could be making more gameplay videos. And that's really what I need to do to survive so just, right now. So, can we finish this then? <laughs> let me put it to you this way. I'm not oh, God. We don't need any other ways. I'm not permanently going away. He acts like these games were going somewhere. The uh -huh. way that partnership with these companies really works How does it work? successfully is that you build up such a catalog of material, okay, that... You're getting so many views on a daily basis, like I still do over on, on Dark Side Filth. People still watch the hell out of that channel. Now, I'm not in the top 100 every day by any means, but I still get... So yeah, see that? So he was in the running for top 100 on some days of the whole entire YouTube website, guys. This is how it was back in the day. I mean, he was there right on time. Several thousand... Right at the right time, he struck when he was putting games out on the, YouTube, on the internet. ...views on the Dark Side Filth channel every day. How many? How many? Day by any means, but I still get several thousand views on the Dark Side Phil channel every day. Now, if I was getting credit for those views, uh, credit meaning money, the partnership program, mm -hmm. then hell, I could have entire days where I don't have to put out any content and I don't have to worry about paying the bills because I have consistent revenue coming in for content that was created in the past. Now, right now, I'm not even near there. Mm -hmm. As you know, Dark Side Phil is not partnered. DSP Gaming and DSP Street Fighter have some of the bids have the backlog has actually had ads added to them. You might okay, notice, this is so example, boring. If you go to watch an older playthrough like Black Ops, you can use it like uh, like royalties. Um, you'll notice, hey, <laughs> yeah, I'm not getting anything from there. What the hell? There's ads on all those videos, and Phil did made these videos before he was working with Machinima. Yeah. Well, Machinima actually had some people go back and try to add ads to a lot of the older videos that were more popular. So. Uh, once I build up a catalog, which will probably be a couple of years, to be honest, probably going to be two to three years. Well, he thinks it's like, yeah, he thinks it's like, you know, Rolling Stone's catalog of, of songs. If he were just going to go back to it all the time. Oh, people are yeah, going to his... go back to these forever. <laughs> yeah, he, he talks like uh, like he's going to put out like a thousand videos or whatever, you know, and then he's just going to be done for like a yeah. year. And he's not going to have to do anything anymore because he gets daily money for yep. nothing. I'm done, dude. Once I get the heavy rain play throughout. We've got to be set for life, dude. Big ups, Jasper the Cat Legend says, I heard Daddy is getting me blood work for Christmas. Don't be so optimistic, Jasper. Don't be so optimistic about that. You can't be sure of that. Yeah, I don't, I don't know who lied to you, brother, but... um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't... <laughs> I hate to break the news. Then I might have a lot more free time because I don't have to have so much pressure. as keep making videos. Keep making videos so that you can pay the bills. Um, uh, that pressure would never be released. <laughs> and then I might be able to bring back more casual series... Like DSP oh, that was a flash, thing. finally. For now, the first I flash. Like, oh, the gaming stuff. Let's get the I think that's the first flash I've ever seen here. Yeah, they haven't been so hot. The first few episodes they were all over the place. Now he's kind of DSP Street Fighter and DSP Gaming. Let's blow up these channels. Let's make them just as big as Dark Side. Let's, bl <laughs> Let's blow, blow them up, up dude. Is, yeah. Uh, which actually has, I believe, over 88,000 subscribers as of today. Oh. And, uh, you know, wow. once I get there, then we can start looking to do optional stuff. Um, yeah. Oh, you mean fluff. One more question before we break yeah. here. Oh, one more uh, question. The question is, hey, Phil, I'm going to be entering my first ever gaming tournament this year at uh, CEO 2011. Right, we got to tell us to bring <sighs> the powder. Bring the powder. Okay, what you got to bring is powder, okay? You don't think so, but you need ass powder. And that's le legitimately <laughs> advice <laughs> Phil has given out. Living in Orlando, Florida. <laughs> Actually, I might be at that tournament, too. So this might be an interesting Ooh. question. Uh, Ooh, might be an interesting question. Uh, this guy says, I'm most likely going to be entering Marvel vs. Capcom 3. And I'm just wondering if you could give us tournament news, some advice on what to expect from these tournaments. I know that every tournament will be oh different. From what Somehow there's only four minutes left in this video. I thought this might take 20 minutes, you know. Well, I'm a tournament pro myself. I can tell you all about them, you know. I thought we'd get that, but maybe yeah. not. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, though, four minutes to answer one question is still kind of yeah, a long true, time. True, uh, true. 
Especially when I don't give a shit. <laughs> don't bring, don't forget the beef jerky. Let's see if we get a beef jerky. Okay, l references I want are powder for your ass, beef jerky, or uh, toiletries. I'll take any of those three. Those are the words I'm, I want to hear in this answer. Other sites, it looks very confusing at some parts, uh, where it looks like there may be 500 people in a room just standing around and only one person announcing, around, announcing names and telling people to go to a certain TV. Is there any advice that you could give me? It would be awesome, so I know what I'll be getting into when I enter future Dude. tournaments, and that's from Twisted Edge. Um, well, you're asking the right person. As a former pro. <laughs> answer this as like a black and white answer because it really... <laughs> black and white answer? Depends on who's running the tournament, how many people show up, and how professional just these people give a are general to shit. organize the event. Let me just say the general shit, please. Tell you this. I've gone to tournaments where there were right. over 300 people. The tournament ran super smooth. There were enough setups for everyone. There was also room to do casual play. Okay. Uh, Very there were cool. No hiccups. There were no problems. Hiccups. There were no crashes. There was nothing dramatic or anything like that happening. It was a really. <laughs> nothing dramatic happening. Yeah, who would want that at a fighting game tournament, you know? <laughs> dramatic that's stuff. supposed to be uh, you know <laughs> hype pop-offs and you know okay right. i know what he means but it's just a very funny way to say that uh, do, 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 nothing dramatic happened at all well we're on tournament uh -huh. on the flip side of that i've gone to tournaments with only a hundred people where the people who were running it had no fucking idea what the hell they were doing oh well, you talk about evo here cannon brothers or what can we get some names <laughs> they refused to listen yeah start name Ooh. dropping them phil i'm trying to find out who yeah both of them and insisted that they could do it by themselves, uh -huh. didn't have enough setups, didn't have enough going on, didn't have enough people to even run the tournament brackets to the point where, as this guy's saying, 500 people standing around, one asshole calling people to TVs, no one can fucking hear Oh, okay. or is this where they say, where am I playing? You still haven't told me, maybe. Everyone's missing their turn. <laughs> um... Oh, bite, bite, bite. He thought about the Cannon Brothers, so he was biting his fingernails. TVs, Ooh. no one can <laughs> fucking hear them. Everyone's missing their turn. Ready? Um, Oh, bite, bite, bite. If you really want... <laughs> that was for the Cannon Brothers. <laughs> that was for you, Cannon Brothers. Oh, did he just eat it? Wait, I think he just swallowed it. Watch. Um, bite, bite, bite. If you Got really it. Want... Swallow. Oh, my God, advice. he just yeah. did. He ingested the nail. Bite nail, swallow nail. Um, Got it. If you really want... Swallow down the hatch. Some nice. good advice for tournaments is a couple things. Number one... Good for your immune system um, or something. I don't know. <laughs> Beef jerky. <laughs> Always make sure that if you're leaving the tournament area for any reason, yeah. and you're still in a tournament. What do you do? Notify one of the tournament directors. Ah, he's learning from his own mistakes. Listen, I don't really be really two floors away taking a shit. Yeah, just exactly. don't do that. Exactly. You really have to take a shit. There's nothing I can do. Oh my god! He oh really my said god! That. He's gonna say this story. <laughs> the tournament director say, "Listen, I really, really have to take a shit." He's really legitimately giving advice based on what he's learned when he got fucking banned from a tournament or dropped from a tournament because he didn't tell the tournament director where he was going. He's literally saying that exact story. There's nothing I can do about it. And if you call me, nothing I can do. Minutes, nothing I can do, dude. That's while I go back to my hotel room to take a shit, we're going to have a problem. Um, and usually if you tell them something like that, if you s what, hold on a second here, tell them to take a shit. We're going to have a problem. Um, and usually if you tell them something like that... Usually if you tell them something like that. Reminder, he was literally banned from a tournament for not doing this. And now he's acting like a... You know, yeah, usually if you say stuff like that, they'll understand it. He didn't do that himself. Or if you say, listen, I've been here for six hours. I've been playing, but I'm starving. We have to make a food run. They'll usually be understanding. And they'll, they'll put your name to the side and wait for you to get back and build so you can continue playing yeah. matches. If you just disappear like a phantom, chances are you're going to get disqualified from the tournament, and that's going to like I did. ruin your tournament experience. Yeah, yeah. Um, also, I have to say, when you go to these tournaments, uh -oh. Uh -oh. patience. Patience oh, is a virtue. Patience. You're going to need a lot of it. And uh, the other thing is, unfortunately, and I hate to say this, but every tournament I go to these days, I still uh -oh. see it. There's still a lot of elitism and favoritism towards the known oh. players. Ah, uh, do we hear Justin Wong? Let's I hear. was going to say one more name <laughs> drop, please. Can we get it? Meaning, you might end up standing around staring, saying all of these stations are occupied. Why? I thought there was supposed to be casual play at this tournament. Then you find out that one top Marvel player is running Ooh. a one station over there and refuses to get up. One top Street Fighter 4 player is on that station over there doing a money match. 
And that kind of stuff ends up happening, and stations end up getting hogged. Uh, and hag. it is really fucking annoying. Now, when I go to these tournaments... Oh, I'm, I know this. Yeah, I know I, this. I would say, I just heard this the yeah. other day. I swear you watched this clip. Yeah. It was on your stream. We it sounded where, so familiar. We know where this is going. What is... What does Phil do in that situation where people are taking the cabinets and there's no space for him? Put your guess what Phil might do in those situations. Let's hear it. End up getting hot, and it is really fucking annoying. Now, when I go to these tournaments, I say, "Hey, guess what? Such and such. I've known you for ten years. Get the fuck off this station because I want to play the game." And usually, when you threaten <laughs> them like that, they get the fuck up because none of them want to fight. <laughs> <laughs> Billy badass one. over here. The one time someone did want to fight, Phil cried. So keep that in mind. The one time someone did want to fight Philip Brunel at a tournament, he cried. Don't want to step outside and get their ass beat. When someone wanted to get step their outside, ass yeah. beat. there was one person in history that wanted to step outside and fight DSP. Phil cried, self-admittingly cried during that interaction. But uh, patience. I just have to say, patience is a virtue. You're going to need a uh -huh. lot of it if you. Uh, plan to go to these yes, tournaments. use your patience. But if that doesn't work, threaten to assault them. Yes. That'll that'll solve the problem. Now, now you're getting the tournament life, guys. If it's one that either the head count's higher than they expected. Oh, my alarm's going off. The head count's higher than <laughs> they expected, <laughs> or they just don't know what they're doing. Uh -huh. So. All right, that's it for part what one. What was our advice again? I think we received advice of tell the tournament director when you got to take a shit and patience, I believe. Is that? Two? Yeah, that, okay. that's pretty much all I recall. Just to make sure. All right. the king this week. I'll be back with part two, answering a lot more questions, and then we're going to get to the Twitter questions. I may have to move even faster, but I think some of these questions could yeah, come up do. a little bit quicker, so I might be able to answer them <laughs> you know, without as, as much a lap. After that, there's the transition. I think some of these questions coming up are a little bit quicker, so I might yeah. be able to answer them. <laughs> You know, without as much elaboration. So I'll be right back. All right, last last bit of the day, last section here, part two of that same episode. Let's go. I forgot that last one was supposed to be rapid fire. Uh, I forgot was. he's like, oh, I'm going to get to a lot of questions, and he took his. Uh, he, you know, he did what he did. Now uh, I have to go even faster. Lay up, motherfucker. Oh, sorry, got twice. Not bad. It's the best part. Welcome back, everyone. Part two Welcome back, of everyone. Ask the King for February 17th, twenty. And there's a different transition in the intro, by the way. Oh, God, I'm not going to hear it again. But there is a different intro, by the way. Welcome back, everyone. Yeah. Part two of oh, you're right. the King uh -huh. for February Vertical 17th. style. We got horizontal I was style and vertical you... style. <laughs> Stole the words right out of my mouth. Got him. <laughs> got him. 2011. Let's get right back into it because I have so many questions. Yeah, it's a flash. Answer, Don't take that. Get my timer it's going. like origami. All right, <clears throat> next question. It says, hey, DSP, you said that E3 was over $500 in your mid-year calendar update and that you might not be going. Now, what he's referring to is I just did a calendar update over on DSP Gaming. Oh, God. God I went through all that. the games I'm going to be playing, but also all the events and tournaments going on this year, and E3 is one of them. But when I did my research, I actually found out tickets to E3, okay, just to get in the door, <laughs> they cost between $400 and $500 a person. That's Damn. insane. Then, of course, in addition to that, would be the cost of the plane flight, the cost of the hotel room, food, and all that. And when I was yep. playing it, I was like, compared to like going to a Street Fighter tournament, you know, entry is, is 20, 30 bucks. You pay a couple of games, you know, and the hotel and the flight and all that. That's a lot of fucking money. And I really had to think, you know, if I go to They're E3 not the same, though. Yeah, like, totally different he's. Things. He's comparing, like, going to play Street Fighter at a tournament to going and seeing, like, the newest games that are coming out and getting to potentially try them. It, like, you do that kind of stuff at E3. They do a whole, you know, venue where there's a... They do different experiences mm -hmm. and you can meet some people. Like, it's an entire thing. Yes. It's, it's not, you know, <laughs> go fight Justin Wong at, you know, a tournament. <laughs> yep, but... I think he's going to say, like, for his business, it's not they're not worth it, I'm guessing. That's what we're trying to sure. say. Sure, some of it I could probably put up Here we go. Uh, and get the get Machinima, you know, to, to approve it for the partnership program. But I'm not sure what the technicalities are going to be. Mm. If I put up uh, footage of a game ahead of time, will I get in trouble? Yada, yada, yada. Yada, so, yada, yada. Yeah, I originally was really thinking of going to E3 strongly, but now I'm not so sure about it. But anyway, going along with this question, mm -hmm. uh, could we, the fans, help pay for your way there? <laughs> of course. Oh, I'll that's... pay for whatever you want. Thanks, for uh, asking. <laughs> Thanks so much for asking. I'm sure a lot of your fans. It's actually a link, and also if you could click on the ads. Uh huh. Participate. I want to see you go? Thanks. That's from MRG. Uh, oh, Mr. Grim One Two Three. Sorry. 
<laughs> Shut out. MRG. Oh, Mr. Grimm. Mr. Grimm. Um, well, here's the deal, all right? I have never, since I started working for you, or started working for YouTube, since I started putting videos up on YouTube over two and a half years ago, not once have I ever asked for a dime from anyone. No, you never asked for it, but uh, you did let people know there was options to do so. That's for sure. Go ahead. Yeah, I don't know. I, I <laughs> yeah. like. I He's know not, it's a technicality. Yeah. You're right, but to say, hey, there's a link that you could click. Like, yeah, yeah. come on. That's what he's we talking know. about. So he has not asked for money at this point. Just to be fair, to, I'm not being fair to him. Just telling the truth. Yeah, he's not said like, yeah, please yeah. tip me yet. He has said though, if you want to help out with the cost of games, there's a link below. That is the level we're at in terms of begging at this point. It's hey, there's a link there. If you want to, go ahead. So and I know a lot of people out there, a lot of haters are saying the contrary, trying to say that I, I constantly ask for donations and I fool people into giving me donations. It's not. Wow, people were saying that 12 years ago. Holy shit, man. Not true, okay? I, have I said it earlier. I said it started. again. It's crazy <laughs> that you could play so much of this today and I wouldn't be able to tell you the difference other yeah. than the audio quality. Damn, like, <laughs> 12 years ago? Significant amount of money off of donations, period. Um, what did he say? Uh, so he has made donations, by the way. Okay. I have never, never made a significant amount of money off of Ah, I've never made a significant amount. amount. So I have made some. Uh, we don't know how much, but it wasn't significant. So don't worry, guys. Donations, period. It wasn't like a million billion <laughs> dollars. So yeah. it wasn't very significant. It wasn't a trillion. So. Yeah, I do get as much appreciated. <laughs> but ah. I have not gotten made a lot of money doing it, okay? okay. Um, and so, yeah, they're lying. First of all, to try to slander my name. And uh, it is what it is. Like I said. <laughs> By the way, that yes, they are lying. Hey, but... uh. I mean, okay. Anything as you know, there is a, a, a way to donate to me. It's my email address, darksidephil at hotmail dot go. Just oh, here it is. Yeah. Through PayPal to that address, and whatever you send me, I definitely use for gaming purposes. Whether it's <laughs> buying new equipment, whether it's buying the games, whether it's traveling. In fact, I just I just bought tickets to final round in Atlanta, yeah. which is in March this year. I believe it starts on March tenth, and. Uh, you know, that definitely, the, some of the donations that I've gotten in the past helped me out with that. But uh -huh. uh, something like this, I mean, I guess what I would say is if, you, if people are really interested in seeing me go, uh, I mean, Donate, yeah, obviously, man. if I did get a lot of donations to go. Ah, hint, and, hint. And if it style. was enough, for example, to cover the tickets plus the hotel room. And keep in mind, I'd have to, I couldn't be able to go by myself. I'd have to get someone like Rambo or someone to go with me to be a cameraman while I'm looking at stuff. You know, someone would have to film. What? Uh, yeah, All okay. right, hold on. Wait, there's a couple things here. <laughs> yes. So what he's doing here is he's not talking about the. I guess he's embarrassed to talk about the driving aspect, maybe, and he's using this as his excuse why I need Rambo with me. Maybe I don't know. Yeah. That, okay. That's fair enough. Yeah. That's fair enough. That I didn't think that he'd be embarrassed, but more like I, I really thought he was like, well, I'd be looking at stuff, so somebody else would have to film because like everybody else that went to E3 and did those kinds of things definitely filmed themselves um uh, yeah it's a one-man job I like yeah it's a one-man job for a normal youtuber i mean i know there's some like high quality like you know legendary production style channels but most people when they go to that shit it's a one person job yeah but i like that he set this up with the well if i got a lot of donations for this to cover the things and then did not say that i'll get that like i'll let you guys know the number next week <laughs> or, you know, this is a roundabout <laughs> right now, what I kind of figure, like, he, just, you know, if I got a lot, which is a nothing number, so that he could never do it and get those donations and just leave with them. Yep, there's no need for that. Classic. If I get a lot, it's the classic. If, well, you know, there's a way to make this happen. If you follow your dreams and open up the Velcro, I could possibly go, but I don't know how much it's going to take. But we could have a chance. Just, you got to make it happen, guys. Follow your dreams. Excuse me. Follow my dreams. Excuse me. Follow your dreams. <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, I would consider doing it. And I've heard that people, for example, Mike Ross and Gutex, that they have these donation drives and stuff. Sorry, I'm just not into that. I don't think Ooh. that's cool to yeah. ask fans uh -uh. to pay my way. <laughs> yeah, wow. It's not cool for fans to pay my way. I really don't. I don't think that's cool. Don't pay um, my way. Pay me to put on glasses. I know it's I a different it's, time. Yeah, but... different time. But... <laughs> I think that, if anything... The way for me to, 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 to go to E3 would be that I make such good content on YouTube that everyone oh, yeah. watches the living shit out of my videos. Yep. And oh, good. I get, make a lot of money with my Machinima partnership. That I would feel good about. Not saying, oh, please send me free money, please, so I can have a good life and you can sit back and watch wow. me record me have a good life. I mean, that's lame. But I'm not, Somebody clip I'm, that. You know, I'm not yep. against it. <laughs> I'm going to need that later. You can donate. But 
just keep in mind, I'm not 100% saying that I could go, especially if, you know, I don't, I don't even make a, a, a close to the amount of money to even get in the door, then there's no way. But I'm not saying E3 is off the table. If I end up getting, you know, uh, an overwhelming amount of uh, donations and uh, people want me to go, then yeah, I would definitely consider going. But So I need an overwhelming amount now. I'm not asking for him for to it. consider I don't want going. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like I'm definitely not asking for it. It would have to be completely optional of your own, you know, your own will that you know, <laughs> your, your, your own will. will. <laughs> <laughs> I can't make you do it. So you have to use your own free will. <laughs> Thanks for pointing that out, Phil. I thought I was obligated. <laughs> I Yo, any more though? It pretty much is. <laughs> yeah, I can't mind control you. So we well, said that. I'm not gonna ask for money. That's messed up. Ah, oh, wait, I hear that wow. again. Wow. And I've always said that I'm not gonna ask for money. That's messed up. Ah, uh, okay, it's messed up. It is messed okay, up. Okay, next yep. question. Next question. I this agree. Is, Hi, Phil. My question is: Have you ever attended any live WWE or TNA? Oh events? God, That's wrestling. Jake. 2012 RHS. The answer is yes. Get out of here, dude. Uh, I have seen these wrestling questions. A couple Raws and a couple SmackDowns that were in actually in Bridgeport, Connecticut, at Harvard Yard Arena. Um, I saw a couple Raws and a couple SmackDowns. This dude was spending that cash, or at least maybe Linda was spending the cash, but multiple, multiple. The most notable one that I can remember. That is kind of crazy, down. though, because I, yeah. I can't imagine those were cheap. Like, Hell I've been no. to local, like, MMA events around here, and, like, even those, like, probably shouldn't have gone to, in all honesty. <laughs> like, they were fun, but, yeah. like, at the end of the day, I just watched a bunch of dudes fight. Like, that was it. So, at the height of my wow. wrestling fandom, I still remember this, but the height of my wrestling fandom, so it's, like, early, I can't remember. We're talking, you know, 12-ish, you know, 13-ish. And I can remember I saved up money for one, and it was, like, 120 bucks for the ticket at just a normal raw or something and it was like you know that's a big fucking deal man i that was a big ass deal but phil of course is older than older than me and especially this case i mean he likes wrestling still at this point and he's how old the fuck he is now he's almost 30 so yeah he's gonna go to wrestlemania eventually <laughs> yeah, like. oh yeah 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 <laughs> so and it was I believe Brock Lesnar yeah. against Big Paul ups. Heyman in a Brock Lesnar. Cage. <laughs> yeah. And if I remember correctly, what happened, this is really funny, okay? Kurt Angle was supposed to run out and make a save, basically save Paul Heyman from getting, you know, like destroyed by Brock Lesnar. Uh -huh. And he runs out. Kurt okay, okay, I love this because hopefully this is on YouTube and we can search for this moment because Phil's retellings of this kind of shit is, is always incredibly wrong. So hopefully this is on YouTube what he's about to say. Heyman from getting you know, Heyman, like destroyed by Brock Lesnar. Heyman and Le he runs out. Kurt Brock Angle runs Lesnar. out. And he's trying to get inside the steel cage and the damn lock won't open. The lock was supposed to be able to open. Like he's so strong he rips it open. And it fucked up. It wasn't a prop lock. Someone put a real lock on the door like an idiot. So you couldn't get it. <laughs> People put a real lock on the door. <laughs> so it's Heyman, Perk Angle, and Brock Lesnar. And someone put a real lock on the door. Okay, so okay I found, I'm loving it. I, I found a steel cage match. Where was, this, where was this recorded? That'll tell us if we're right or not. Brock Lesnar versus Paul Heyman. Uh, did they say the venue? Say the venue. He did. Oh, okay. That, I'm trying yeah. to see if it's, if it's Connecticut or not, but all right, let's hear this real quick. And in, so Lesnar picks up Paul Heyman, puts yeah, him on his to this, shoulders, all this stuff. and holds him there for like a straight three minutes without doing his finisher move. Because he's like, damn, is Angle ever going to come in here and save? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. And uh, so finally Angle said, to hell with this, climbed the side of the cage, went in and saved Paul Heyman that way. But it was just really funny looking because when they edited it on TV, none of that happened. It was Kurt Angle ran out, tried to get the door open, uh-oh, it's locked, and immediately climbed over and saved Paul Heyman. It looked great on TV, but what? Was, being there live, you actually saw the botch. Um, so, yeah. yeah, that was pretty funny, in my opinion. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, pretty funny. So we saw the botch. Yeah, I can't play it. W WWE is such a bitches about copyright. The only videos are from the legit official, um, official, official thing. But I can't play it, mm. sadly, but let's see. It's, if there's like if there's like highlight channels, sometimes you can get away with it. But WB's a bitch, man. They'll block. I it. would actually consider doing them in the future. Did you catch that? It's kind of funny. Oh no, I didn't. Here, does that count? Funny, yeah, that definitely uh, counts. But yeah, I've, if he I've says only it even been afterwards. To live WWE events. Never been to a TNA, uh, and I would actually consider doing them in the future, or seeing going to some in the future if they're they're local again. Okay. Um, Not funny. This question has been asked by about seven thousand people, so I'm just gonna answer. Seven thousand people. For the question is, when will you know if Machinima is working out for you financially? You know, working with them through our strategic. Oh yeah, everybody cared so much. 
And then hey, how will you know? The answer is probably, I'm hoping, it's going to be by the end of March. And the reason I say that is because some things are, are changing with the way that the program works, and I'm not going to disclose any details. But basically, uh. I'm probably going to see my first payment at the end of March. And when I see what it is, then I'll be able to gauge based off of the amount of views I've had. Now, keep in mind I've had some problems. My internet Uh-oh. was down for a full week. Always. Um, I couldn't get the ads enabled. Keep in mind, it's not as good as you think. Right away when I wanted them to. Like I said, when Dead Space 2 first came out, I probably would have had a shit ton of, uh, of views. Oh, <laughs> check finger. Ads on those videos. How about Dead Space 2? Yeah. Just dragging their fucking feet and taking forever because they're so slow. Who was taking, dragging their feet? But the problem was that YouTube was basically dragging their fucking feet and taking ah. forever because they're so slow to do anything. And, uh. Okay. So I know I lost a lot of money that week. I probably lost uh, over a thousand bucks, to be completely honest, uh, that one week. So there's been some reasons why things wow. have been slow. If you're already making a now, thousand a like, week, I mean, pretty sure you can make it work then. What's the problem here? You're yeah, no to shit, a man. A thousand a wow. week? And that's, you're not sure if it works? And that every day has been amazing. And this is 2011 Marvel. money. Yeah. Over since Capcom 3 was released two days ago, I mean, three days straight. I have over... If you can't make a thousand a week work, over, I believe, you got problems. Over 000, almost oh, shit. Almost. No family, <laughs> not even a pet, <laughs> you know? hundred thousand views a day, so that could work out really... How many thousand views a day? hundred thousand, almost two days ago, I mean, three days straight, I have over, I believe, over a hundred thousand, almost up to two hundred thousand views a day. Holy shit, man. That's, wow. I mean, that shows the dip. I mean, a hundred thousand views a day at this point. 100,000 views. And now his videos barely crack a thousand? Yeah. If I mean, that? Yeah. Like most oh, of the time yeah. they don't. Yeah, def- definitely not. Yeah. And his, his, now his views are well under a million a year. A year. I remember when that first happened, that dip past a million a, a month. I mean, excuse me, a month. Uh, let's see what he's at now, actually. Uh, so now uh, he's getting. Yeah. So the whole month of November was 500,000 now. So yeah, that's. The uh, dip continues. Yeah. So. In October, 500,000. Yeah, so he's getting, like, for example, at the beginning of 2021, January 2021, he was getting 775,000 views a month. So the slow decline has continued. uh, And now we're at 500,000 views a month. And that's only going to keep going down because all his, you know, legacy content. Remember his, all his great Beatles albums for his catalog? Yeah, his royalties. Yeah, they're not coming through as much as they once did. So... That could work out really freaking well. Um, yeah. So I'm curious to see when I get my first payment what it's going to be. Roughly, I, I should see that probably near the end of March. So we'll see what happens. And I'll let everyone know when that happens. Um, okay, great. Definitely okay, normal thing. question. Oh, no look. He looked at the paper this time. Uh, Phil, I am interested on learning your Free reading opinion. style. Uh-huh. The controversial inclusion of simple mode in Marvel vs. Capcom 3. It oh, so basically, oh. it's a precursor to modern, you know, Maybe modern control. Yeah, style. yeah. On a round or before a round, and it simplifies combo moves and finishes. All right, so what's your guess on this? I'm thinking he's gonna say it's dumb because it it's uh, makes it easier for new players to do the moves. What do you think? Um, I'll take the contrarian just to take the contrarian. Okay. I I'm gonna say that he's gonna justify it and be like, well, I think it's really cool to get all these people into the game. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, fair enough. With both opposite sides here, let's see how this plays out. For players that are new, even if their opponent isn't using it, and several credible, honest reviewers have mentioned it, do you feel that it will be an issue or just <laughs> be overlooked? And that's from Marvel <laughs> fanboys. Look up. Um, Marvel fanboy. Well, shout out. I don't know Marvel fanboy. This is the first time that anyone's I, I've ever heard anyone call it controversial. I don't know if you're aware <sighs> of this, but in all of the previous versus games, there was this mode. It was called easy mode, and basically you could get special moves, super moves to come out very easily. Now, just to explain to everyone how this works, oh, God. all you get need to it. do is basically push any direction and certain buttons, and you'll get a special move to come out, you'll get a combo to come out automatically. It's pretty much like, you know, if you want, if someone doesn't understand the game, kind of like easy mode or something. Yeah, it's works, almost like it's simple. You just want to have some fun, uh, and just basically... It's almost as if it's a mode that is simple. <laughs> around, then this would be the way to play the game. Um, oh, so what's my feeling about that? Yeah, you have to you have to check the question again. <laughs> Hold on, let me let me check what you fucking wrote. I can't remember. Hang on. <laughs> yeah, even he can't remember his own question. <laughs> I said some meaningless bullshit. Let me check the question again real quick. <laughs> really want my honest opinion? Yeah. What I else do it. we want? What else do we want? Oh Yo, yes! <laughs> oh, Atlas wins. And here's why. <laughs> I told you previously that Street Fighter Four uh, was dumbed down. 
meaning that he, he controls <laughs> Street Fighter down. 4 were dumbed down so that a wider audience could play the game, which now means that you don't have to Ooh. actually do the motions to get special moves to come out. There's all kinds of input shortcuts that you can do. Uh -huh. They also made the reversal window in that game so wide that it's so easy to just mash out a dragon punch. Ah, so you're going to be right with a different reason, though. He's he's saying here that uh, they 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 give at least now they have a whole option for new players. They're not making the whole game easier. You see, I think we're going there. Mm. Emotion, I'm still taking the dub on this one. Yeah, you do, you do. That counts. <laughs> that counts. <laughs> um, Capcom did that to appeal to the masses who were complaining that the games were too hard to play. Uh -huh. And I, I really oh, do. I still what? stick to my guns here, saying that I. Really Oh, God, look at this side lip farm. And he gets something, too, because he checks it. Yeah. Ready? That's the, here, we're, we're getting something here. Oh, so that's a face. <laughs> we're getting some sustenance here. This is like some, you know, some, <laughs> some cream cheese from the bagel in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then, look, his eyes. Okay, so you, you think he's done, but now it's, see, he's got the clasp on what he's just farmed right now. It's in the fingers. And then the we're going to. is always a tell. Yeah, the clasp. See, he's got it. He's got it in, the, in his clutches. And now he's still holding it, still holding it, still holding it. Oh, now he's, he's, oh, he's doing the rub together. Look at his fingers. There's the rub together happening. He's starting to try to make fire with it. <laughs> and then where does it go next? In the mouth? Where are we still going? Oh, now it's in his clutches oh, into fully. The, palm. the prey yeah. is now in the palm, unable to escape. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't look at it. I'm dented, I guess. Okay. Where it's Anyways. not as competitive as it should be, and I wish it was a hardcore mode where it would disable those input shortcuts uh -huh, and that yep. reversal window and all that. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's exactly what mm. Marvel vs. Capcom 3 did. Simple mode dumbs down the game to the point where you don't really need to understand the game. You can still pull off crazy stuff. Uh-huh, crazy um, stuff, dude. But here's the thing. Oh, God, I'm so bored. Unlike Street Fighter 4... Who care? In Marvel vs. Capcom 3, simple mode... Yeah, all is I care is that I won. Um, I know. Can we please give end this? <laughs> Remember, you're supposed to be doing rapid fire here, dude. It's laid out right there in the rules. No, you cannot go simple mode because that's cheating. <laughs> you're not doing the motions you need to do. You're not using the timing you need to do. You're letting the game play itself, basically. So it's not allowed in competitive. Fairness. I wouldn't say it like that, but okay. <laughs> Get fucked, easy mode. You're letting the game play it for you. On the flip side of that, in the flip Street side. Fighter 4, there's no way to exclude the easier controls, the, the input shortcuts, or the reversal window, and, and take that out of tournament play. There's no way to avoid it. So uh -huh. I like what they did there. I think it's going to make the game appealable to the masses, but at the same time, it'll keep the game out of competitive. Oh, yeah, I, did, I did kind of say that. <laughs> yeah, you did say that. For those who want to play. It's going to be appealable to the masses. In normal mode. So, appealable. That's my opinion on that, and I applaud Capcom. I think that was a great decision. Oh, great. Uh, oh, applauding Capcom. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that's, question, it's, uh, that's real. I'm a guy who has never played a Marvel vs. Capcom game, and my fighting game experience is very limited. My God, question is... Can we get past this fighting game shit? This, given that by the time you potentially read this, you'll have played the game a while. Uh -huh. In your opinion, do you think that Marvel vs. Capcom 3 is a game that a person like me can play and enjoy? That's from Rob Miami 9 <laughs> Rob Miami, shout outs, what Rob on Wheels. Rob Miami 9, I hope you just listen to the answer I just gave to the question before. Marvel vs. Capcom 3 is your kind of game. Oh, yeah. Because if you really don't want to get into this game hardcore, you just want to have fun, and you're afraid that the game might be too <laughs> fun. Like fun, most people fun, fun. in a game? <laughs> Way more fun. <laughs> fun with? That's exactly what Simple Mode is for. This game is right up your alley. I recommend yeah. you get it. Plus, it has a bunch of cool Marvel and Capcom characters in it. Flashy supers, you can't go wrong. <laughs> I appreciate that one being right. actually short, okay. though. Yeah. Like it could have been it, shorter. That was like anti phil almost. Flashy supers, look, Hi, let it love I recently it. got a deal on a Tekken 6 bundle for $29.95. Yeah. I got the game and a Tekken 6 <laughs> Tekken and six and Classic one. Stick. <laughs> Since I didn't have a stick, it seemed like a cheap way to get one. Uh, anyway, these things have been sitting on the shelves for a while. Can we get past these fighting game questions? Uh, so Come on. Than at a fraction of the original price. Fraction. Right, when these were Fra yeah, yeah. No, no. <laughs> $150 a pop. Okay, who cares? After seeing the sticks you had done for sale on eBay, I noticed they were all wired sticks, not wireless. Yeah. Uh, my nope. question is this. Are there issues with the input lag with wireless sticks? Are there reasons to prefer one type over the other? That's from Zenlike40. All right, so I'm going I'm to... I'm going to call this one. He's going to say there's obviously lag in wireless. You should never play wireless. I think he's going to be hard on that. 
Would you agree with that? Oh, or of not? course. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah. Well, I mean, and I believe the truth is that if you absolutely are looking for the least amount of latency possible, wired is is the answer. Yeah, yeah. But right? he's gonna act like, like it's like it's the scum of the earth. You are insane if you yeah, do wired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's see what he's. Well, yeah, so that, that makes sense to me. He's gonna overdo it. Forty, you hit the nose right on the button. <laughs> you what? The... <laughs> Dude, I thought it was a joke. You hit the nose right on the button. Zen like 40. Well, Zen like 40, you hit the nose right on the button. <laughs> you hit the nose right on the button. <laughs> That's not the Amazing. same. <laughs> wireless joysticks and wireless gamepads have problems with lag. Now, gamepads, yep. not so much. But what was found was when people were testing that joystick, not only did it have input lag, meaning when you press the button, it took a, a, a longer period of time for whatever you press to actually happen on mm -hmm. screen. What but else? In addition Explaining. to that, Thanks. the damn thing was dropping inputs altogether. Wow. Meaning you might do a clutch oh. combo, and here's the finisher. The joystick would not register, and what? it would never happen in the game. And you'd be like, what the fuck? Uh -huh. And the reason that this joystick didn't sell is because Why? most people who buy these joysticks are trying to actually learn the game and be competitive with the game, possibly enter the tournament scene. So what idiot would purposely buy a joystick that's going to make him slower and and sometimes not even work and not even give him the move that he <laughs> enters on the joystick? Uh -huh. so this was a big flop by Hori. They made all these sticks. No one bought them. And it's he's actually right. You could probably find the bundle online right now. Hori is still successfully selling sticks, by the way. Now for about <laughs> oh, yeah, bucks. huge. <laughs> huge. Yeah. Wants a wireless stick for whatever reason. Or if you want Tekken 6, you can find a really good discount online right now. Uh -huh. What a... Horrible failure that experiment was. I don't think we'll ever see another wireless fighting stick again. Uh, okay, let's uh, hold on a yeah, second. Let's just right. check out Hori. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, we got to see that. <laughs> let's see if we Never can gonna find see one any. Again. Uh, let's see if we can find any of these uh, these crazy things known as wireless fight sticks. All right. So here we're on the Hori website. Let's go to a fighting stick for Tekken 8, shall we? What's this? Uh, is it wireless or not? Let's see. They they might not even say it because it's just so obvious that it is. Lock mode for tournament play. Nice. Built-in headset jack. <laughs> Fighting stick mini four. Is this is this wireless or not? Uh, will they tell us? No. I mean, they in have the chat. to. Yeah, the chat's I'm seeing in the know. chat. The toilet seat is uh is Hori brand, so at least we got the wireless toilet seat. That's big ups. I shirts wireless and was given uh, seventeen products, and let's check the second one. So a lot of game. Okay. Oh, I found one. Oh, it's for Nintendo Switch though, so he's gonna get pissed. Mm. So maybe there is something to that. They didn't do wireless anymore, but <laughs> maybe he's right. They stopped doing wireless one fighting time. sticks. Yeah, gotta give him credit for that one then. All right. Anyways, let's fuck this. Okay, next question. This is a good one. Here's a good one. Uh, what is your response to Justin Wong saying that Marvel vs. Capcom 3 <laughs> is cheap and easy? And that's from Ryo Horikawa. Oh, God. Here we go. Um, what he's referring to is that Justin Wong... Getting really tired of the fighting of questions. I'm not going to lie. Ago ...saying, well, I've played Marvel 3... At least we get Justin Wong salt here, maybe. ...and the game is very cheap and easy. And then a bunch of people gave him shit for it, saying, what do you mean by that? Are you talking shit about Marvel 3? And he responded, well, I don't mean to say that I hate the game. I actually think the game's fun. But it's the Ooh, nice lure there, Frog Machine. The Switch controller that he got sponsored to promote around the bankruptcy was a Hori controller. Oh, he'll definitely take that shill, oh. though. Cheapest game ever made. Okay. I'll, I'll, shill, I'll shill out for that. All I'm going to say is this, because okay. Justin's been saying some really fucking stupid stuff. God, more that Justin one. slander. To his defense, though, this was a question, but again, he chose the question, so this you can count this as a Justin shout out for sure. He talked shit last year about ADOS. Did you ever get Justin on the show? Did you reach out to him? Uh, Justin has not been on the show yet, but hopefully one day that'll be. He he doesn't okay, do that okay. kind of stuff that much though. Like he would not. He's not down with that shit. He legitimately yeah. He's like, a quieter style. Yeah. He's yeah. the guy that when you say I don't like drama, you believe him because he just doesn't associate with any sort, you know, at all. Before, so. before he even puts significant time into the game, and gets his ass handed to him by Gamer B in Evolution. That became a big thing where everyone basically uh -huh. said, "Ha ha, you're an idiot for saying dumb stuff like that without actually putting the time in." Here we are, launch week of Marvel vs. Capcom three, and he thinks he knows everything about the game already. I mean, what fucking planet does he live on at this point? <laughs> what planet does he live on? Damn. Damn. What does fourth place get, though? Like, I don't know that fourth yet. Fourth place doesn't get anything. I'm sorry. All right. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, let me say this. I'm okay. going to say this, and I'm going to leave it at this because I don't want to go off on a tangent. Too late. Any longer than I have to. Yeah. They were supposed Justin to be rapid Wong fire. Play Super Street Fighter 4, yeah. a game with input shortcuts and the longest, largest reversal window in any fighting game ever created. Oh, wow. We're getting Justin Slander. That's why he's good? Is that where we're going? It is the easiest fighting game to play. Now, that's uh-huh. not to say that on a competitive level that you can win in tournaments, that's not easy. But just to learn the game and be able to play it on at least a semi-competitive level is pretty damn easy. So for someone <laughs> what? who basically plays that game, makes money off of that game, to make this kind of a comment about a brand new game that he hasn't even played yet, that's really damn hypocritical, and he needs to stop making Twitter posts like that. And I said this before. Is he, needs is he just going to memory hole all of those other games that Justin Wong stomped everybody in, like so from the beginning? Justin Wong is an eight-time Evo champion, by the way. Uh, he's won Marvel vs. Capcom 2 uh, five, uh, six times, Street Fighter 3 Third Strike uh, once, and Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 once as well. Just letting you know all the games he's been a champion in. And when I say champion, I don't mean fourth place. I mean first place. Well, and he needs to stop making Twitter about a brand new game that he hasn't even played yet. That's really damn hypocritical. And he needs to stop making Twitter posts like that. Uh-huh. And I said this before. He needs a publicist who would shut him up when he has to say stupid stuff like that. He needs a publicist. Uh-huh. Um, if there's yeah, anybody that ever needed a wrangler, it was the guy. Yeah. Like, that's... It's really ironic coming from him. And Excalibur makes a good point. It doesn't make you sound better when you say it's so easy to play a certain thing and it's so easy to get good at something when you couldn't do that thing. You know what I'm saying? So, like, Phil couldn't mm. win, but then he says it's so easy to win. It's the easiest thing to win at. But I also couldn't do that. Like, he's admitting he couldn't do it, but it's, I guess it's easier to say that it was so easy for him to win. He's playing the easiest fighting game, but you also couldn't do it. You know? So, it doesn't mean anything. Some. This card. All right, a lot of people ask me this one. Here we what do you go. feel about all the Marvel 3 DLC content that's been uh, announced? Uh, can we cut with this? Five dollars per it. new character you want to download, and five dollars for a pack of costumes. How do you think he feels? Costumes, I don't care about. Because okay, so we got that last time as well. Custom, I don't care about. Downloadable characters, yeah. though, that's a different story. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I think he's gonna say, as long as it's not too expensive, it's fine. That's a kind of a okay. nuanced take, but what do you think? I think I think he's going to be uh, blatantly against it because uh, competitive reasons. Why would you have to pay to get a character that could be broken or overpowered or that's whatever? True. You know, I think that's probably right. That sounds better than mine. Costumes, to be completely honest, are optional. They don't affect gameplay. Mm-hmm. Capcom can sell the living shit out of costumes all day if they want. It's your fault if you bought it. That's simple. <laughs> yeah, <However>, it's <laughs> your DLC fault. <laughs> that's simple. <laughs> That's bullshit, because those characters oh, are right. already in the game for the most part. Um, oh. And when I buy a $60 game, I want a complete game. And the problem is, if I'm going to play this game on a competitive level, Let's I'm going to need to buy those characters. Because yep, if I don't, all right, you got it. Buys those characters, that was right on the back. Over me they're going to know all these tricks and strategies with those characters. And if I've never seen those tricks and strategies, I won't know how to defend against them. Mm-hmm. And I'm at a disadvantage. All those tricks and strategies? So tricks and strategies. I, I kind of <laughs> hear that again. For me, because they're going to know all these tricks and strategies with those characters. <laughs> that was okay. And if I've never seen those tricks and strategies, I won't know how to defend <laughs> There it was. Yeah, the it was the second one. one. The yeah. second one, you're right. <laughs> all these tricks and strategies with those characters. And if I've never seen those tricks and strategies, I won't know how to defend <laughs> Tricks and strategies. <laughs> That's a good LARPer name, by the way. It'd be hard to say, too. Tricks and strategies. <laughs> And I'm at a disadvantage in a competitive environment. So basically, here's what's happening. Okay. There's going to be four DLC characters released. You don't have to look at your hand when you do that. As he always does. I have to check and make sure I did the actual four. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. It's always true. He yeah, always he looks, like looks a... at the hand. <laughs> He looks like a like uh, like a kid, you know, when he's just learning his numbers, and he looks at it, goes four, and then he spins it around to like show the teacher uh-huh. like four, uh-huh. four. Look, I'm right. It's four. <laughs> four DLC characters released. One is Jill. One is Shumagara. There's very uh, high speculation that one will be Frank West, and one's going to be Doctor Octopus. Whoa, that's Doc, twenty dollars that I have to spend in order to play this game in a tournament setting. That's bullshit. Yeah. Capcom needs to check the okay. with that shit. Because check it's 20 themselves. bucks, though. You need to like check if... yourself, Capcom. <laughs> check yourself. They, 
it was Street Fighter 4 is only $40, you're being poor. But when it's $20 to get, you know, four new characters or whatever at five bucks a piece spread out over time, that's stupid and bullshit. Uh, fuck yourself, I guess. Like, check, no, check yourself before you wreck yourself, Capcom. Yeah, yeah sorry. <laughs> that's sorry. Really messed up. That's bullshit. Capcom needs to check themselves with that shit because that's yeah. really messed up. Hell so yeah. One thing if they were releasing these characters in a, in a year and they were doing a whole rebalance of the game like they did with Super Street Fighter 4, but they're not doing that. Oh, they're charging me money for a game that I already paid $60 for in order for me to stay competitive. That's bullshit. I disagree with that. Yeah, story. hell yeah. <clears throat> oh, God. What was that head motion? Look at this. Bullshit. I disagree with that business practice. All right, so here we go. So he's gonna get the he's he's reaching for the stein. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. But yeah, he's gonna get a weird neck thing. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> What's this neck? <laughs> Look up. Oh. If he has paper, he looks at the paper. He doesn't look... It, the the uh, bottom of the Stein demon doesn't show up when the paper shield is up, I guess. <laughs> it's like a ward or yeah. something. Yeah, I like yeah. it. Next question. Okay, so next various question. Various people complain about the sheer amount of damage dealt by characters in Marvel 3. So oh, God, oh please! Oh, my God! Uh... This is fighting game <laughs> shit. Who cares? Right. What's your opinion on this, and do you prefer the high damage combos? I don't give a shit. Knock out characters in one touch, or would you like to see the damage scaled back? I want to scale back. TX Fats, probably Texas Fats. Texas Fats. What? Get help. <laughs> TX Fats, probably <laughs> Texas Fats. The answer is this. I don't know what game everyone's playing, because the same shit was in Marvel 2. Okay. Does anyone remember Cable? Remember when he had no. three Viper Beams and he could kill your whole fucking team no, in yeah, about three the seconds? Remember Magneto, who could infinite the living shit out of you and with two mix-ups kill your entire team by guard-breaking them when they came in? I mean, yeah, the people that are complaining it's super cool. weren't competitive Marvel 2 players. Let me Ooh, put it that way. It's, I think wow. the difference between the games is that in Marvel 2, besides the Cable <laughs> Viper Beam fiasco, yeah. It was a little bit more difficult to do these kind of high damage combos. But uh -huh. the bottom line is this. Hey! There's still a Marvel 2. There's still hey. a Marvel 3. A lot of, a lot of bottom lines no today. Seven. Next question. Will you be playing Marvel 3 with the fans? That's oh, God. The top thousand people. The answer is yes. Eventually, I will be doing fan matches on both the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation. Okay, whatever. Next question. I wonder hey. if those happen. What's your impressions of Marvel 3? The they did. Back in the day, oh, my he was, God. Back in the day, he did. What was this question? Oh, God. All right. Next question. Uh -huh. uh, hey, Phil, what's your impressions of Marvel 3 thus far? Who cares? Is there anything you dislike about the game? <laughs> Do you think some characters should get nerfed or buffed? Or is everything well yeah, balanced? Buff. Thanks for I the love answer. the buff characters. And that's from Det. I don't know if that's his full name. Or yeah, they're name. very flavorful <laughs> or robust. Um, quick answer, since I'm running out of time, is this. Yes, thank God. It's way too early to tell. Initially, I really liked the game. There's nothing non -answer, I necessarily awesome. dislike about it besides the online play netcode, which lags like fuck and sucks monkey dicks. And that's on both systems. I have played on both <laughs> systems. The online play sucks ass on both systems. Keep in mind, I'm now on Optimum Boost, which is the fastest internet available in my area. It's over 20 megabytes per second download and 5 megabytes per second. <laughs> Some, on... What? Optimum Boost? <laughs> Just marketing speak, but he falls for that marketing speak so much, you know? He's on Optimum Boost. Uh, you know that's just like the internet <laughs> package name, but he's acting like yeah, he really yeah. gets the boost. <laughs> I'm on the optimum boost, okay? So, 20 down? I mean, in 2011, I already think 20 down is kind of bad, but I mean, I don't remember. My play sucks ass on both systems. Uh -huh. Keep in mind, I'm now on optimum boost, which is... Yeah, I got the optimum boost, dude. <laughs> fastest internet available in my yeah, area. Yeah, hell yeah. They put me on hypercharged internet, so obviously I got the best. Yeah. I'm on the I I got the uh, Spectrum Gold plans. They use all gold wires, dude. It's awesome, dude. It's incredible. <laughs> Fast as possible. It's all gold. To upload. That should be fast enough to have a good connection. It is not. It uh -oh. is laggy as fuck. So Capcom, once again, I have to say, fuck you. You need to fix your wow. net code. Whoa. Or just don't put the fucking feature in the game because it's it's that goddamn rollback net code, dude. Uh -huh. People who are trying to learn the game and actually play it on a competitive level. Yeah. Mode. But. I reserve my actual judgment of the game until I go to a couple tournaments like Winter Brawl, Final Round, get some more immersion in the game. Then okay. we'll see and we'll come back with it. Immersion them. in the game. He's right, really going to live like a Marvel character. <laughs> yeah. is from Salad UK. Salad and UK. question is this. If you win EVO 2011, would you consider doing it again or is this the last hurrah? Don't need to ask that. But let's see if he, nope. he thinks there's a chance. Uh, I think the reason he's asking that is because... 
because previously I had said I really wanted to go to Evo one more time. Yeah. Uh, and I really wanted to do it this year. Well, the bottom line is this. Oh, if I God. can record at Evo and all the videos, Thanks. you know, I, I can make money off of it. There's no reason for me not to keep going. Um, there's no reason for not for me not to try to be competitive uh, and go repeatedly. Now, you know, things have kind of changed from what I was doing previously. Uh, and what? so we'll see what happens. Um, see what happens. All right, yeah, fence it. Let's go. go Evo, yeah, chances are I'll probably go back again because just going is going to be fun uh, for notoriety <laughs> reasons, money match reasons, things like that, just the hype itself. So we'll Man, he really happens. thought he was going to win Evo at least <laughs> once, yeah, didn't he? He, he was convinced. He said that very straight. Like, yeah, if I win, I'm going to go back. I mean, just going to be fun, dude. I mean, come on. If I win, notoriety's sake, dude. <laughs> Next question uh, from Dekulis. He says, you promised the condo tour, but I never saw one. Where is it, DSP? Oh, condo well, tour. Dekulis, you're absolutely right. You got me. I forgot to do it. I was actually waiting during wow. the Wow. Even this slight call, you know, omission of, of fault, he would never do today. He would not do this. Mm -hmm. oh. No, okay, you would never see him admit this. No. Nope. You stop getting, you're so impatient, assholes. I'm going to do it when I have time. What was going to happen with, uh, with Blip, with Machinima and all that? What happened with Blip? Fair enough. You did get me. Uh, I will do a condo tour at some point coming up soon. Uh, and it will... I'm going to have to put it on... D I'm sorry, on uh, the King of Hate HD. I can't put it on gaming channel because it has nothing to do with gaming. But yep. uh, I, will, I will do it. I promise. Okay. okay. Next question. Very cool. DSP, wouldn't it be better if you made a private lobby with good players to learn in Marvel 3 rather than blowing up people online? That's from Foxhound. Um, you have to have friends for that, buddy. Uh, yeah, it would be great. Mm. But guess what? I don't live next to many good players. Um, sure, I could try to convince someone like Yipes or other people, but number one, I don't talk to them outside of the tournament scene. <laughs> so there we go. <laughs> I'm not friends with them. <laughs> I've, been out, I've been out of the tournament loop for several years anyway, so I wouldn't even know how to contact them, and none of them live in Connecticut. So no matter what I do, the connections will be fucking balls, and there's no reason to wait. Now you have to live in the same state or connections yeah, are Yeah, I noticed that when he first started and he's like, oh, I don't live near them. I'm like, are you playing online? Uh -huh. Like, what, isn't well, that he, the... He had to be in the same and state, dude. <laughs> and and his, his idea of like, oh, well, like, I, I'm not in contact with them. Like, it's 2011. I know for a fact that you could PM people in 2011 on multiple sites that they were probably on at the time. Oh, yeah. And, and get into yeah. contact if you wanted to. The problem is, they're not friends. That's the real problem yeah, we're just, yeah, just that skipping is the problem. over. <laughs> you know? Waste my time with online play doing that. It's a lot he could have just said that, though. Yeah. I don't know why he beat around the bush. <laughs> I don't have friends for that. My next question. If someone was trying to step up and play Super Street Fighter 4 on a professional level, what character would you tell them to pick? That question is from Jake. Insanely stupid question. God, that's so, so stupid just question. Just whoever you want, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Dumbest question of all time. <laughs> <laughs> Want to be a pro player? What play? What character should you choose? Whatever. And the dude. answer is Ryu. Ryu overall is the most rounded character in any uh -huh. Street Fighter ever. Yeah, He's yeah, consistently yeah. good in every single. It's akin to asking him what weapon He's... should I pick in Call of Duty? Like just no, whatever. Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to be a pro uh, Halo player. What weapon should I choose? Okay. Really good in Super Street Fighter Four. I would start with Ryu. Who cares? Next question. Next question. Uh, are there any characters from Marvel vs. Capcom 2 Ugh. that feel incredibly different in Marvel 3, and in what way? That's I'm done with this fucking fighting game shit, cluster. dude. The bottom line Did is Marvel 3 or something just, like, it's just coming out now or something? It, like, it is this the big be. hype? It must be. It's really different in Marvel 3. Even though a lot of their attacks look <laughs> yeah. similar and even have the same similar motions, Who cares? their properties have changed. For example, Captain America's shield slash now hits forward and when it's coming back. Oh, wow. uh, but his combos are different. He's way slower. His uh -huh. stars and strikes, which used to be like an anti air <laughs> you can type move, is no longer invincible. It's well, so it came fast. out six days before this. Okay, that's why then. Makes sense. That's the good context there. So what you're seeing, even though it looks like some of it is similar to Marvel 2, it's a far cry from Marvel 2. It's a lot different. I Far Cry. Really... Shout out Far Cry. Hey. Oh God! In, in in you know mid answer. That's a nice pause. Mid answer snore here. Far Cry from Marvel too. It's a lot different. I can't really <laughs> explain too much in depth. Of wow. In mid sentence. That's rare. I can't <laughs> answer this. Correctly. But it is different. Um, uh -huh. Two more questions and then we're done. Yay. The worst sort of ever heard question. ALT. Come on. <laughs> Oh, we got a meerkat mob. All right, boys. Here's the challenge. Can you find... Atlas, you've never been here for this, so hang in. Can you find 
the John Rambo in the following running of the fills. All right, your job is to find the running John Rambo. There's going to be a lot of running fills. Your job is to find the running John Rambo. Let's fucking go. Here they come. Come to the right side of your screen. We have the running first running fill. Can you find the John Rambo? Your task, find the John Rambo. Find the John Rambo. Where could he be? He's somewhere. I promise he's somewhere. Did you find him? I'm not sure myself. I did not see him that time. So good luck. Try to find him. If you didn't find him, rewind. <laughs> We're done to finish no, it. I about lost him. <laughs> you got to rewind the stream. <laughs> All right, we have two questions left, and then we're fucking done too. So <laughs> here we go. Pulled in such high regard. Four questions, and then we're done. Come on, please be uh, done. First question: What is it about Super Turbo that makes you pulled in such high regard over other oh, fighting God. teams? That's from a flatten or a flatten. I'm not sure. Um, Who gives a shit? Who well, gives the fuck? Super Turbo is the granddaddy of fighting of competitive fighting video games. Ooh, granddad. Granddaddy, boys. The first version of Street Fighter where people said, "Wow." This game is amazing for competitive play. It added so many elements that other games didn't have. Uh, I remember everyone said this, by the way. The first game. Yeah, I remember saying this in the uh -huh. womb. I was like, I said uh, that. "This is the best." This is the best, the best for competitive, competitive play. It's gonna be awesome. Which completely changed the face of fighting games, and every single fighting game after that ended up getting them. Uh huh. Um, okay. Complex combos, More... juggles. <laughs> uh, this was one of the first games to actually have legit juggles in it. Whoa! Uh, air juggling Very system. cool. Uh, oh. Reversals. Reversals? True reversals where the game tells you when you're doing a reversal. Oh, um, cool. And the fact that... In communicates, though, awesome. yes, there is mismatching in die. the cast, and not everyone is balanced, <laughs> if you put the dedication and time in, you can be good with every character in that game, including Zangie, even Whoa. though it would be really hard to win a tournament. Even Zangie? Wow. So, Are you kidding me? So, that's why. It was the first fighting game to really feel, number one, very balanced. Uh -huh. Number two... Uh, revolutionized fighting games by adding so many elements that every other fighting game. Why we just did happens. this? Why are we repeating? <laughs> We're doing the same list, and it's also one of the first fighting games to revolutionize fighting games. Is that what the list was? <laughs> I, really feel, I think it one, was very balanced. Number two, uh, revolutionized fighting games by adding so many elements oh, that okay. every other fighting game afterwards cool. had, like supers and juggles. Uh -huh. and number three, it's just fun. It's fucking fun. <laughs> Oh didn't, yeah, didn't have much heat on number three. Uh, it's yeah, just no, fun. Dude, it's just uh, and, uh, it's uh, fun, you know. It's, it's fun. Hey, you could sit there and play it for one hour or play it for twenty hours, and you're still gonna have fun. So is that addictive fun. gameplay you talked about earlier? <laughs> Final question. Hey, the perfect timing because we're running out. This one is very from much so. TH Forty questions tonight somehow. One, and his question is: wow. What is your birthday, month, and day only? Because I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what is your birthday? Dude, what's your birth? Hey, Halo Phil, what's your birthday? <laughs> wait, wait, what's this guy's name again? We got to give him a shout out. Final question. With perfect timing because we're running out. This one is from Seb TH1. And it's Seb 2H1. Big ups, dude. Great question. question is, what is your birthday, month and day <laughs> only? Because I guess yeah. some people are interested in possibly sending me a happy birthday wishes or maybe... Sending me some birthday presents. Well, you don't have to explain this, brother. April 6th. And I said that last this year. This is so stupid. <laughs> what a waste. <laughs> April 6th. Sending me some birthday presents. April 6th. Well, right? April 6th. And I oh, said that wow. last year, actually, if you would watch my Mega Ooh. Man 10 playthrough, I started it on my birthday, which was April 6th. Fake fan. Woo! That was a lot of questions. Holy <laughs> yeah. Shit. And I answered them all within the time period that I had. So I'm sorry if I the sweat in. those answers, but... Man, that was a lot of questions, and I definitely wanted to answer a lot of the ones about Marvel 3. Oh, a lot thank God that's over. The game, it's brand new, so I'm being... Hey, Phil, what's your favorite ice cream flavor? <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to Ask the King. I'll <laughs> uh, see you guys later. Okay, that was it. We are done for the week. Atlas, big ups for joining again. We we should make this a normal thing. I'm down with it if you are. If you want to be the permanent. Oh, guest, absolutely. I love this. Yeah, yeah. I, I love mean, it. We got the good chemistry going for the Ask the King, so we do need chemistry here, for, especially especially when there's that much fucking fighting in questions. You want to shoot yourself, but you're all legends, guys. I'm not sure if we're gonna be a show next week. Probably not. Um, you know, break for New Year's and all that kind of family style stuff, but. After that, we'll see you in the new year, 2024. We're going to – we won't even get through all these, by the way. A big up, Zyviga, in the house. Whoa. <laughs> I'm an alcoholic. This is Sparta. Get fucked. <laughs> What's up, Iviga? You're a legend. Tis the season to give back to the community. Big ups to the creator of WPIG and one of the hosts of TBS. Merry Christmas to everyone here. Remember, 
when is your birthday, month, and day only? Very important <laughs> question. I'm not going to say it, though. I'm going to keep it secret. But when it, unless you want to say your birthday, Atlas, you can always say your birthday. I would prefer only. not to. Exactly. No, it's no, of, no. History. no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, you guys are all legends. You guys have a great Christmas, great New Year, whatever the fuck you're getting into. Go nuts. You know what I'm saying? Have fun this year. And Atlas, anything we should look forward to? You come. Are you going to be active next week? What's going on with your schedule next week? Uh, yeah, I plan to do the normal style videos. I'm hoping to have a video on Christmas for all my lonely style fans or people who just want to <laughs> unwind after the holidays. Uh, I hope to have one out. Big ups, big ups. All right, guys. Thanks again for watching. Contributions and stuff, guys, today. Thanks so much, guys. It really is meaningful. It's, every, it's fun every time. You're all legends, and don't forget it. I'll redirect you somewhere. Bye. Come on, let's go have sex now. It's been too long. <laughs>